Internet chat. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Thursday. Stop playing. What the? That's not on my playlist. <laughs> How did that get on there? What? <laughs> some some dubious songs got added to my playlist, guys. Sorry about that. Uh, but what's up, everybody? Welcome to the Thursday stream. Hopefully, you are all doing magnificent and you've had a good week so far and stuff and things. Let me get music on my phone dizzle here. Yep, there we go. All right. All right, that's working. So cool, guys. What's up? Welcome again. Can you hear me? Yes, okay, cool. So welcome again to the stream. All the beautiful people today that I have seen so far in the chat. Caustic and Kate Nippers, thank you both for those hosts and for being here in general. You know what I mean. M. Gowdy, hello. Drizzy, Drizzy. Um, Ick. Ick. Ickthar. Ickthlarin? I don't know how to say that, but hey, welcome to the stream. Yep, just starting up right now, obviously. Drizzy, thank you for that host as well. You beautiful humans, I hope, I hopefully, I hope you're all doing great. I, uh, I am doing okay. Uh, today was a very, very busy, very, ooh, blah, 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 burger. <laughs> hey, blah, blah, blah. Today was a very busy day for me at work, so uh, very stressed out most of the day. I was testing out my um, daddy's gamer girl. What's up? You're plugged in my Discord and hosted, sir. You go make some fabulous food. Oh, thank you, Drizzy. Appreciate it. <laughs> you tell him, Caustic. But uh, anyway, I was I was uh, practicing. I was practicing. I was testing my playlist for uh for saturday's special project stream and uh super excited about it like it, it is it is a really good mix uh i was i was it's it's almost borderline trolly sometimes like for instance i give you guys a spoiler i was jamming out to some metallica right and i was like guitar solo and at the end of the song it was like no scrubs <laughs> it was crazy it's awesome it's gonna be a good time on saturday but it is not saturday it is Thursday. We have a lot of stuff going on today. Caustic, thank you for those tweets. Everybody, dream to stream. Thank you for the tweet. Thomas Hawk, if you're here, thank you for the tweet. Um, all the people that are beautiful and you have been tweeting me, I much appreciate it very, very much. Um, thank you, Drizzy. Thank you, everybody. I mean, really, I'm really happy that you're all here. Thursday stream, we're going to have a good time. I'm going to be making a roasted chicken. And there's gonna be parts of this stream that I'm going to warn you ahead of time. Uh, I will warn you as I'm about to do the thing, but if you are slightly squeamish, there will be moments where I'm gonna be breaking down a whole chicken uh, and like hacking out bones and stuff like that. And if you're not really into that sort of thing, I may leave it in the small camera over here um, instead of, uh, instead of the big, the big camera, just so like if, uh, if my thumbnail isn't just me like hacking the backbone off of a chicken or something like that. Um, Drizzy, yes, if you could do that, that would be great. Um, you can go ahead and just, uh, just do that and send me a picture. It would be, it would be totally cool, man. I don't know. I don't know how that works, but I'm sure it'll be good. Um, so yeah, guys, uh, let me get some music going here in the house. There we go. You probably won't be able to hear that all too well. Yeah, my phone like bugged out. Uh, I actually do have quite a lot to do today. Wow, that's really loud. Let's go like that. Uh, quite a lot to do on the stream today. I forgot my notebook outside. That's going to be a problem. But the drumsticks started to bleed after I cooked them. Well, it's not blood, but yeah, that could happen. <laughs> that happens sometimes. Uh, so we have a lot to do, a lot to cover. I got to figure out the music situation because there are times where I'm just like walking around and you guys can't hear the music. And I'm like jamming. And I, I watch the VOD back and it's just me doing this to nothing. <laughs> I'll never do that again, I promise. Wow, Shadow Demon, that's pretty intense, man. Cozy, what's up, man? Thank you for that host. Welcome to the stream, my man. My man, hopefully you're doing all right. Um, oh, guys, before we get started, I have a very serious like philosophical question for you. I want you to ponder this for a second, okay? Very serious. Do you guys think in this day and age that we live in right now, currently, 2016, that the song No Scrubs could be successful on mainstream radio? 
Think about that. Think about that. Think about that, because it, it's a very, like, I would, I would say that's a borderline, like, anti-feminism message. Like, the girls are talking about how they don't want no scrubs. They don't want to mess with a guy who ain't got no money. Which, I mean, what about his personality? What if he's broke, but he's a really nice guy? Like, what then, uh, TLC? I'm a Destiny's Child. They're basically the same thing. What am I in here for? That's a great question, Chef, and I'm going to answer that with another question of, I don't know. That's not actually a question, but you guys get the idea. I'm going bring my raid board out just in case, just in case we get invaded by people that are awesome. If Beyonce sang it, yeah, you're probably right. You're probably right. Oh, Cherry Griffin's here. Thank you for that host, Cherry. Much appreciated. How's Jared? Jared's a dick. He really screwed things up. Or was that Chad? I can't, I can't tell anymore. Okay, I'm thinking I want to do the chicken first. Um, I'm also like out of my sorts because I don't have my notebook. This is fine. I think we're gonna do the chicken first. Would definitely still be successful, Caustic says. All right, I'll take your word for it. I mean, it's still a great song now. Like, I still sing it. Oh, okay, I'm gonna hold on to the, the, uh, the cutting board. The, uh, the camera doesn't like focusing on the cutting board. <laughs> it's more about not letting your man mooch off you. I don't know. It's a good point too, I guess. I never really thought about it. I guess before I ask a, a philosophical question, I should have thought philosophically about the topic of the philosophical question. You know what I mean? We're getting philosophical, guys. That's just the beginning of the stream. I can't start the stream out like that. Let's start over. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Thursday stream. Hopefully you're all doing all right. I'm just kidding. But I'm not kidding. I, I really do hope you're all doing all right. Um, is this my good knife? I'm going to use this knife, I think. I got three knives for today's stream, at least. So I've got my butcher knife, my cleaver, so I can hack through things. It'll be awesome, hopefully. Boning knife, because we're going to be doing some deboning, I think. Potentially. And my chef knife, because we're going to be doing some chefing. Right? All right. Let me grab this. And let me just hone up some knife knivelihood. It's now pouring. Oh, good. Good good job there, Cherry. Yeah, overwatering, overwatering things is like... The worst. It's not the worst, but it's pretty bad. To be honest, you can get away with the whole girls run the world thing. Then why not? No scrubs. Well, it's a different message, though, Caustic. To me, the, the, the message is different. Limnotide brings up a good point that it's more about not letting your man mooch off you. Um, but, you know, like, girls run the world is all about, you know, girl power and girl empowerment and equality and stuff like that. Look, I made a mistake. Forget I said anything. <laughs> and you know, Cherry, apparently Twitch thinks I'm pretty cool or something, and they gave me they gave me transcoding options. Um, even for my gaming, I think on, on, what? God, that was just yesterday. Just yesterday when I was video gaming, I had, I had options. It was cool. You might have some crossbreeds. <laughs> You'd have a, a pump cumber. Pump cum? I don't know. That sounds dirty, though. Forget I said that. All right, <laughs> just getting all of our steel honed and ready. Just getting all of our steel honed and ready here. Warming into the stream, guys. We have a lot to do, but we're warming into the stream right now. Who's that? Sticker Stealer. Sticker Stealer is followed. Thank you very much for that follow. That's impressive that I haven't even really started doing anything. You hit that follow button. Really do appreciate it. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're having a good Thursday and a good week. And uh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you for being a nice person. Pump cumber sounds better than cuckin'. Yes, I'll go with that. <laughs> cuckin'. <laughs> Kukin. Yeah, don't steal my stickers either, man. I got all my Lisa Frank stickers from 1993. What? <laughs> I have what? No. No, not like these. I'm gonna also rinse the knives now, because especially the the cleaver. Especially the cleaver. I saw a bunch of like residue, <laughs> metal residue flying off of it while I was honing it there. I've never actually legitimately used it 
I know I'm off camera, guys. This is super riveting and, uh, stuff right now. I've never actually used the cleaver. I mean, I kind of did once on stream to, to like jokingly almost like uh, dice an onion, but this type of cleaver isn't made for it. Like those are different types of cleavers. Follow for the TLC reference, nice. Nice. We have all sorts of different kinds of references here. Sometimes I'll just speak in random lyrics. Sometimes I will be punny. Caustic hates that. Caustic hates that very much. He hates it. He hates is it. All right. So my knives are honed and rinsed. So I think we're okay to get down on some chacking. Some chacking? Some chacking. Uh, do I want to YOLO it? <laughs> What's up, real? I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I already have my glove out. All right, guys. So I do use gloves to help keep the sanitary thing down to... Uh, <laughs> Where's Lucy Cam? Oh, good point. Oh, shoot. Lucy's in the bedroom uh, eating, so the door is closed. I'm not actually able to uh, to get her right now because that's really far away. Um, I mean, I could, but I'd have to like disconnect the microphone. You guys would have nothing to see uh, for about 30 seconds or so because if I went to let her out, I would go grab my notebook at the same time. And I feel like... I feel like, you know, you're cutting right to the chase. Tuscany, what are you doing? <laughs> Sorry. Should I do it? Hold on. Let me, let me, I'll do it. Let, it's been, it's been a few streams since we've done a Lucy Cam, guys. It's been a few streams. It's been a few streams since I've done Lucy Cam. And I apologize. We've had lots of Tyson Cam. I'll do it. I'll do it. So let me take off the glove here, like, ah, okay. I did it that way so I could put it back on because I don't want to waste it. I, I realized the other day, like, I'm using a lot of gloves for the streams. Um, so let me see here. This is going to be loud. Hold on. I'm going to, I'm going to take it off and then put it here. And maybe you guys can at least hear the music for a little bit. Come on. Aha, there we go. All right, everybody. Hi, Lucy. Lucy wants to be on cam. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Let me move the camera. Let me move the camera down. All right, here we go. Here we go to here-ish. That'll work. All right. All right, come here, Lucy. Come here. Oh, baby. So welcome, everybody, to the Lucy cam part of the stream. This is Lucy. She is my doge. She is my doge. She is mostly a daddy's girl. She's like, Daddy, you haven't given me treats in so long. It's been so long. Oh, you shake like a good girl. Good girl. Okay, easy. Good girl, Lucy. 
She likes it when I hold her hand. Hi, right, good girl. Oh, my nose itches. You good girl? No, I'm not ready for you to have this yet. The internet wants to see you. The internet needs to see you, Lucy's. Lucy's. Oh. Oh, she likes her chest rubbed. She likes her chest rubbed. You good girl? Oh, yeah. Will you give me a kiss? Hey. Will you give me a kiss? No, she doesn't want to give me a kiss, guys, but she just wants me to... She wants to. Sh she wants me to shake her hand, and she's very drooly anyway. You're so drooly. Up. Oh, oh, good girl. Okay, good girl. That's a good girl, Lucy. Oh, good girl. Oh, I just punched her in the face. I just punched you in the face. What did I do that for? Why'd you move? Oh, oh. oh good girl. Oh, good girl. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Woo. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Okay, bye, Lucy. <laughs> All right. Oh, Zelda wants treats. Uh, this is Zelda, one of our three cats. Uh, I believe these are the treats that she likes. Hey, Zelda. So we get Zelda cam now. And while Zelda is is camming, while you guys are uh, watching the cat, I will wash my hands. Multitasking. In before she doesn't even eat them. That's what usually happens. She just leaves them, and then Lucy will come in and swoop in and eat them, or I end up stepping on them and crushing them into one billion pieces. All right. Q, man. So I wanna go ahead and say hello to anybody that's new out there. It's very uncommon to get a bunch of new people at the beginning of the stream, but hey, man, you never know. We've already gotten a follow, which is unusual as well. So maybe it's an unusual day. I'm gonna say thank you all so much for being here. Lu you actually ate all of them. Wow, fatty. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Bonus cat cam. <laughs> oh wait, I, I realize you guys are just watching me dry my hands right now. That's uh, horrible. Let's see, can we get a zoom job? Yes. Oh, <laughs> it tastes good. It tastes real good. Nom, 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 nom. Yep, this is creative. I hope somebody's getting a clip of this. <laughs> this is what the internet has come to. Stream's over, everybody. I'm just gonna film my cat. Twitch staff is gonna come here and be like, give this guy all the partnerships. <laughs> okay, that's getting, it's, okay, it's a little creepy at this point, okay. A little creepy at this point. Let's move this over to here as well. There we go. <laughs> that got a little creepy. Little creeps. Don't talk to my Zelda like that. Cat shaming. <laughs> okay, you're creeping me out. You gotta, you gotta go. You gotta go. Bye Z. <laughs> Bye Felicia. Bye Zelisha. Zelisha. Now she's French. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. All right. Oops. Uh, rip. Extra impact. <laughs> Sorry, bro. No links. No links. You can totally ask for permission, though, if it's if it's worthy of linkage. I'm sure a moderator will give you permission. What am I over here for? Oh, I need a bag. But guys, when I was away, like getting Lucy out of the bedroom, could you guys actually hear the music? Was it decent at all? I need to know these things, man. I need to know. All right, so we're gonna bag. <laughs> actually got a, actually got one. <laughs> I can't watch them right now. Moderator, so can, can a moderator like whisper them to me as well so I can watch them later? Cause I won't be able to do it now. Unfortunately, unfortunately. Come for the cooking stream, stay for the cats, right? That's what we're all about here. Wavius, what's up? Music was fine. All right, cool, 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 cool. So I want to put the board over here. Here, you guys aren't actually looking at anything. Look at my knives. So shiny. Way off center too. It's fine. Dream to stream is now hosting me. Oh, thank you, Brad. Thank you, Brad. One th yeah, man, you're over one thousand. All right. So just off camera, I'm going to grab my chicken. That is not a euphemism. Although that totally sounds like a euphemism. It's definitely not one of those things. Uh, I do need my knife. I do need my knife. 
No, 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 no raid today. No raid. Dream to Dream has had all the raids. We need to spread the love, man. Spread the love. Although I do appreciate it every time. We can spread the love. The dream, the dream to stream love. The streaming of love. Wait, don't know. You can't stream love. That's different. <laughs> That's a different website. All right. So I know, again, riveting content here as I'm just opening the chicken out of its bag of Rooney here. Oh, it's... Oh, it doesn't come with the giblets or the neck, guys. I don't get the giblets or the neck. Actually, I'm okay with that. I actually don't use those things very often. Uh, read that as ever. I've never used the giblets and neck. I use the neck for stock. I can't, I can't tell a lie. Oh, that's gross. <laughs> All right, now we got chicken. Oh, we got chicken juice. Okay, hold on. We've made a terrible mistake. I've made a terrible mistake. I'm gonna do this the smart way. I'm gonna go like this. Whoa, Shadow. Whoa, Shadow. <laughs> Whoa, Shadow. Oh, guys. Kate Nippers, you're probably not going to like this very much, but um, Mrs. Lethal actually came up with this crazy idea. She was like, what if you and I, she and I, did an overcooked stream together? And I was like, yes, I would like that very much. That would be great. So we may, we may do an overcooked stream. What's up, McKay? Welcome. What a ripoff, I know. So horrible to cook because of all the sticky juice. Yeah, totes stick. Totes sticky. She was like, am I going to ruin your stream if I, if I join and we play Overcooked? I was like, no, it'll probably ruin our marriage, though. <laughs> True story. True story. That game is a lot of fun, though. I, I, I need to give it an, another chance with, with multiple people, with multiplayer. I even tweeted at them and was like, please add... Online multiplayer, you scrubs. Y'all are gonna stress me. We almost announced, we almost talked about it on uh, on uh, Pims's stream last night, but I was like, you know, that's that's uncouth. That's not what we do. We don't we don't ruin uh, Pimsy's stream. So here's the dealio, guys. I'm about to get into this chicken. It's gonna be kind of um, if you are remotely squeamish, if you do not enjoy the idea of me hacking up bones and breaking this chicken down into its smallest bits, then either move to a different tab uh, or, or something. I mean, I'd rather you stay on the stream at least, but you know, I understand. I understand because it, it, it could potentially be a little bit much. So. That being said, um, that being said, do you guys think, if you're gonna stay here, do you think I should go main screen with the chicken butchery? Or should I go leave it on the small screen uh, just in case we get anybody new and they're like, Pete is gonna freaking sue you. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna sit here and wait for a moment while you guys uh, let me know if you think we should go big screen or small screen. You guys probably don't care. Yeah, of course Caustic goes. Of course Caustic says main screen. I'd expect nothing less from you, buddy. <laughs> main screen, all right. That's two, we got three, we got four, let's do it. Main screen, we need to see how to cut up chicken, all right. Let's do it. This is my chicken. There are many chickens like it, but this is the only one that I have right now. <laughs> so, Admittedly, I'm not like super amazeballs at this, and I'm gonna be trying a different technique. So uh, let's see how this goes. All right. So the first thing that I want to do is get the skin over here by the legs. <laughs> it's a compliment, Caustic. Don't worry, man. Uh, also, wow, they still have. This is a natural chicken. This is like an organic chicken that I got, and it's still got like the feather stickers in here. <laughs> wow. This is, uh, this is like straight from the farm. Cool. All right, so I'm gonna cut right in. Hold on, let's get rid of this extra fat pocket here. <laughs> if only it was that easy in real life for us, right? All right, so I'm gonna make this first incision right here. 
Yep, very good. Cut right through the skin. Zoop. There we go. And just kind of all the way in there. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this side as well. Although I need to flip it this way. So right here. I'm actually kind of nervous right now. Why am I nervous? <laughs> the pre-stream jitters. Honestly, the pre-stream jitters have not completely gone away. Dr. Chef. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna flip this bird over. And I got my thumb right here on the joint of like, the, here's the backbone, and this is the joint where the, the leg is, and I'm just gonna pop the joint. And then I'm gonna come up here with the knife and there's this pocket of meat right here on either side of the backbone. It's like the the tramp stamp of the chi the chicken's tramp stamp, okay? Right here. You guys have probably heard it talked about before, not as a chicken's tramp stamp, but um, it's called an oyster. It's the oyster meat. And it's, it's one little nugget, and you'll never see it on a menu. It's basically like a chef treat. So I'm going to make sure to get in here. And they call it an oyster. It kind of looks like an oyster. It's like a little small piece. And it kind of just looks a little bit like an oyster. So I'm going to flip back over on this side. So let's get this. So you can't really see here. Hold on. Let's go like this. So I broke the joint right here where, uh, where the, the leg was connected to the back, to the backbone. So I'm just going to finish it off basically. There we go. So we have we have a leg, a whole leg. Woo! That just fell. Okay, we got one leg off. Break a leg, everybody. One of the four beasts saying, "Come and see," and I saw. Sorry, Gaddy. Spaghetti. All right, so we flip it back over, and we do the exact same thing to the other side. We apologize to the chicken. We say, I'm very sorry. This is going to hurt you a lot more than it's going to hurt me. We pop the leg out. We pop the leg out. There we go. And then we come in with the knife. Oh, the lights. Oh, the lights. And I just want to come in here, make sure I get the oyster. It's, it's a special little piece because it's, there's only two on the chicken and they're super tender. And they're, I don't know, like, they don't really do anything. They just kind of hang there. So they're really tender and relatively lean as well. I don't know, it's pretty cool, man. So we'll cut this. All right. So we have two legs now. Okay. That part was easy. Here's the part now. I need to see the trick and tramps. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is the part now where I'm deviating from my normal um, butchery here, okay? So I'm following this technique from this website, Serious Eats. It's like my favorite website of all time. So normally what I would do is I would cut down here and I would just kind of like fillet out the, uh, the breast meat and like detach the, uh, the little wings here. I'm not going to do that. The, the procedure that I saw said, get out your cleaver and take out the backbone with your cleaver, which sounds a lot more fun to me. <laughs> so my goal here is to kind of just like hack through here. Oh yeah, baby. This is exactly what this knife is made for, you know? It's just like getting in here and hacking up, hacking up shit. Basically, there's no other way to put it. Gets right through the bone. Yeah. Ah. I feel alive. Sorry, chicken. This chicken's seen better days. <laughs> That was a lot of fun. That was way more fun than my method. All right, so the next thing that I want to do is flip it over. 
He's going psycho again. I'm gonna take off this bit of extra skin. Need to get these lights checked out, guys. That's my next fundraising goal. I need to get these lights checked out. I need to get a quote from an electrician. All right, so now we're getting into the, the part that I, I'm, I'm familiar with. So it's, we still got a little bit of bone here on the bottom of the breast meat, which I'm, I'm okay with, believe it or not. So I wanna go over here, get back in with my, my boning knife. And so we have like a sternum right here in the middle of the boobies. And I'm just gonna go slightly off skew of one of, of, the, of the bone and just kind of cut through just like this. So it kind of separates it from the sternum basically. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side here. Just like this. And now, <laughs> just get in and we break, we break it up. Perfect. Do the same thing on this side. There we go. So, now we're talking. Now we're talking. So, I've got two breasts. I got two boobies. Always. Darker fate! What's up, man? Welcome to the stream. Thank you for following. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the kitchen. Stuff and things. Really appreciate it. Grayshell! Oh my god, Grayshell, dude. Welcome to the stream, dude. Haven't seen you in so long. Haven't seen you in a while, man. How's everything going? All right, so we're, because I'm gonna be kind of cooking this all in one dish, I can't just have whole boobies. I gotta cut the boobies in half. We still have this bone, a little bit of bone in here that I wanna keep. So I'm gonna go about half here. Let's say, get the wing tip out of the way. Get out of here. We'll go about here. And then we'll just finish the job. Nice. So we got a little piece of booby. We got a bigger booby. We got like an A cup and a D cup. <laughs> and we'll do the same thing with this side. There we go. Guys, true story, I wanted, I, I thought I wanted to get into butchery um, when I was kind of finishing up school. So doing stuff like this really makes me feel good, makes me feel happy. Something about slicing up of it. Yeah, yeah. It's like, I did vegan on Tuesday. This is the most anti-vegan thing I think I could do right now. You know, I think I do want to take this bone out though. Do I want to take that out? Nah, screw it, we'll leave it in. We'll leave it, we'll leave it in. It'll add some flavor with a U. All right, so I've got a plate of chicken now. So I should have eight, oh, oh, I'm not done. I'm not done. That was the easy part. Now we get to the part that I really hate is, the, is separating the legs from the thighs. This is probably my least favorite part. I'm also contemplating getting rid of the, uh, the wing tips here, the little wing pieces. I think I want to do that. Sorry, I, I, have, I know what I'm doing in my head sometimes. So, what if we take this, Find the joint. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Flip the knife over, here we go. All right. Where are we at? Right there. Found it! <laughs> Just get the knife in there. And I guess I could keep that. I shouldn't really throw that away. So now we've, well, okay, so if I had left the whole breast piece here, so we'd have the, the, the breast, the whole breast, and this little, the, the leg, not the leg, the wing, the wing sort of thing. The wing sort of thing? That's what they actually call, it has a name, it has a fancy name, it's called an airline breast. Because uh, that's what the, how they used to actually serve chicken on airlines when they used to serve real food. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to try to do the same thing here. So, yep, finding the joint right there. Getting the knife in and then just... Ow. I missed, I misjudged the, the joint, there we go. Misjudged the joint. New song by... Uh, 
by uh, Snoop Doggy Dog. <laughs> I misjudged the joint. That's inappropriate. That kind of hurts too. I'm hitting it with the I'm hitting the knife with the the heel of my hand. It's it's not tickling. I'll tell you that much. Ouchie, woo wee. I want to get a butcher knife. I tell you what, McKay, this cleaver was only like 20 bucks. My friend got it for me for uh, for Christmas. All right. So I actually hate doing this portion, but I never really have done it with a cleaver. So I'm finding the, the, the idea here is I need to find this joint now, which is right here, right? No, it's right here, right there. So in theory, <laughs> in theory, like legit, I'm horrible at this. I'll be the first to tell you. I love this song though, man. It's from Mega Man. All right, let's let's not. I don't want to screw this up. I'm, I'm I got a live studio audience. I can't screw this up. So where's the joint? We got the bone here. Where's the joint? The next song by Snoop Dogg. So we're looking, and it's gonna be a boot. Man, it's. I feel like it's right here. Is that the joint? I'm tempted to just frickin' throw my knife in there and see what happens, right? I feel like it's right here. I think I'm right. I got it right on the dot. How about it? You know I'm bad about it. And a clean cut. That might be the first time that has legitimately ever happened to me. A nice clean cut. So now we have a thigh. A nice thigh here. With a little bit of bone shard. That's fine. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine, guys. It'll be fine. We got that, and then we got the, the leg here, the drumstick, as some people like to say. The only way you could screw it up is if you lose a finger. Yeah, pretty much. What's up, Arcs? Yeah, I actually went to culinary school, man. I actually graduated high honors from, uh, from a local Le Cordon Bleu. And I can, I can brag about it because I actually did it. <laughs> Paid a lot of money for me to be able to say that. There we go, that one was a lot easier because I built up the confidence from the first one. So we have a nice clean cut. Thank you, butcher knife. So we got these two pieces. I've got this enormous backbone here. Get a little backbone, will you? That was kind of gross, actually. Oh, this. Oh, I love it. I just want to chop things up with this. I just want to, like, mother effing. That's it, 2,000, 2000 follower special. Me just slamming things to smithereens with my butcher knife. Yes, I like it. Let's make that happen. That's like in seven months, right? This is my first stream. <laughs> I always say that, I'm sorry guys. It, the joke is probably dead. It probably wasn't even funny to begin with, honestly. <laughs> All right, so one thing I wanna do is get the chicken over here on a sheet tray just to, to let it chill. Although not literally chill because it won't be in the refrigerator. But I want it, I want it out here so we can deal with it uh, on its own sort of thing. Okay? Okay, good talk guys, good talk. This is like my, first, my tenth first stream. Yeah, I know. I'm bad about that. I gotta, I gotta space out the joke so it might be funny again at one point or for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm just taking the chicken now, and I'm just gonna place it on this. Uh, I have a pa paper towel on this uh, this sheet tray right here, and so I'm just going to place the chicken here, just to kind of get the bottom part dry. I'll end up flipping them back. Oh, I'll flip them back over to get the skin side dry. Once, because okay, so basically the, the plan of attack here is that I'm gonna end up searing these chicken pieces like super hard, hopefully. We got a nice super hard crust on there. And then we uh, we cook them in, the, we finish cooking them in the oven with some vegetables. But in order to get a really good sear, you gotta have dry surface. Like dry surface is the number one important thing for getting a great crust on anything. It doesn't just have to be chicken, just on anything. Also guys, notice that I did not I didn't rinse my chicken. If you rinse your chicken because a recipe told you to do that, go find another recipe because um, 
you don't have to do that. Like everyone, like I see all these recipes all the time. They're like, you have to, uh, um, hold on, I lost my train of thought here. You have to freaking do the thing with the thing so that you don't have a thing. And I'm like, what? Hold on, I lost my train of thought. You have to rinse the chicken so you get all the salmonella off of there. I'm like, that is so scientifically inaccurate, it's ridiculous. All you end up doing if you do that... What's up, Barking Panda? Welcome to the stream, man. Uh, the only thing you're doing if you're rinsing your chicken in your sink is you're spreading chicken germs all over your sink. So if you had a chicken that did have salmonella, like, on the exterior, it's now all over your sink. And you have to disinfect your whole sink which you should probably do anyway, but don't rinse your chicken. It's not necessary. So I've just got the chicken in the pan here. We're gonna let that hang out for a little bit. I do not need these knives anymore, which is pretty dang swell. So I'm gonna put those away. And I've got some chicken juice here that should probably find its way into my waste basket. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this out off camera really quick, guys. I apologize for the lack of content on the screen of poo right now. Hiya! What's up, boo? Everybody misses Lethal is home. So you know what that means. I gotta go silent for another minute so I can say hi to my boo. She's had a rough day, a long day at work. Plus I like totally love her and stuff. So I gotta, I gotta do that. Was that the heart? I don't think that was the heart man with beard. Just in fact, Hubba Bunchkin. Hubba Bunchkin, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Guys, I have to go mute uh, for just a, a few seconds here, maybe a minute. Just say hi to my, the love of my life. I'll be right back and we're gonna be cutting up some vegetables. So hang on tight, you guys. This time I'm gonna have to go silent. Am I gonna go silent? No, I tell you, here's, yeah, let's go silent. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm gonna go silent for just a sec. Yeah, they would hate that if I did that. All right, so we're back in action, guys. Um, I'm blocking the whole thing right now. So what's up, everybody? We're just gonna sit here and chat for just a second. Gonna shower real quick. Okay, Gaudi, enjoy your shower. Enjoy your shower. All right, so we got chicken. We got pieces of chicken over there. I got my board over here. I'm gonna rinse off my board really quick, too, because I don't want chicken guts. Just like, hmm? Uh, she may need to go out, everyone's been fed. All right, cause, oh guys, talking about Mr. Lethal about that, that brings me to a, a point. If you were here for Tuesday's stream, you know I made those, uh, those vegan patties on Tuesday's stream, and I did not enjoy them very much, if you remember, if you recall. Well, I ate one for dinner tonight, because darn it, I can't have leftovers. <laughs> I can't just leave leftovers, because that would be wasteful. And uh, yeah, it was disgusting, still disgusting. <laughs> Uh, I did I did liberally uh, lather it with cheese and mayonnaise and ketchup, so it was slightly less bad, but it was still kind of disgusting. <laughs> Sorry if you are the recipe creator and you are somehow in my stream. It was not a good. It was not good. Barking Panda, the pa the fry. Okay, the fries tasted good because I put all sorts of seasoning on them, so they tasted good. They did not crisp though. The rest, I followed the recipe to a T. You know, it was like toss with oil, toss with cornstarch, um, season them, have your oven preheated. I had it all set and it just did not work. It just did not work. <laughs> what was wrong with the recipe? It was vegan. Oh, caustic. Oh, caustic. Um, was that McKay? McKay, I, would, I wouldn't necessarily say, <clears throat> I wouldn't necessarily say anything was wrong with it. Um, I would say for my version of it, I probably could have used a little bit more barbecue sauce in the in the actual patty. The texture was weird to me. Um, I imagine if you're a vegan, you could probably you're you're probably used to that sort of thing. I am not a vegan. Uh, I prefer beef. <laughs> I prefer beef, and uh, I totes did not have beef. So well, I mean, I I do I did have beef, but not in the in the patty because then it would not be vegan. Um, so I'm grabbing a bunch of veg. <laughs> Speaking of vegetables, I'm grabbing a bunch right now, but these are gonna be to go with our meat, which is the important thing, right? Just say yes, chat. Just say yes. 
I love you guys. Thank you all for being here. How long have we been live? Oh my god, have we been live already an hour? Oh my god. Maybe some minor tweaks like higher temperature and longer in the oven would have done it. Yeah, I was thinking that too, Barking Panda. Like, I wanted to try it by the recipe 100% before I decided to do anything different. Uh, and, and now I know never to do that again. <laughs> Oh, we're killing a chicken. That's right. That's right. That's how we do it. That's how we do it. Uh, I can't believe we've been live for an hour already. I haven't even really done anything. I guess we hacked up a chicken. That was actually a lot of fun. I enjoyed that. I'm going to put this over here. Um, so now, I believe I need to get the... I believe I need to get everything set to 400. Yeah, I need 400 fitted degrees on the oven. That is a Fahrenheit temperature. I imagine for, like, metric, that's like... 112 or something like that, something crazy like that. Uh, no, wait, 100 is 200. So that's probably like 207 degrees Celsius. Chips are like cookies. Gotta watch them like a hawk or you'll miss that sweet spot of crisp but not burned. Yeah, I agree, barking. Amazing how flavor also needs visual appeal, texture. Well, texture is really important. Like there are things that my wife likes to eat, but the texture's weird. So like onions, she likes the flavor of onions, but not the texture. She could never eat like part of what I'm gonna make tonight uh, because the onions are gonna be visible. Speaking of onions, I forgot that I needed to get some. Here we go, sweet. Oh, I didn't check. I hope I have chicken stock. If I don't have chicken stock, we're in trouble. I have some, it looks like. Guys, don't look in the fridge. If you're looking in here, you're being darude. Um, wow, live an hour. I can't, I can't get over that. I'm, I'm sorry. Do I bake much? No, not really barking. There will be baking streams in the future for sure. But right now I'm having such a good time just cooking um, that uh, we just cooking, man. But yeah, I do have baking streams planned. I just don't know when I'm going to actually get to it, which is kind of a weird thing. Um, Anyway, uh, I will go ahead and say that if there's anyone new out there in chat uh, and you have not done so already and you're enjoying the stream, please hit that follow button. Lurkers are always welcome here. I will never call you out specifically to ask that you say hi or anything like that, but I do know that we do have a lot of lurkers here and you're all more than welcome to stay and hang out. Uh, but if you are enjoying the stream, I just pleasantly ask that you uh, hit that follow button. It means a lot to me to do so. It means a lot that any of you are here to begin with. There are literally... Here, okay, so I had this, I had this sort of like... I had this sort of like, this moment earlier. Was it yesterday? It may have been yesterday. And I was like, you know what's crazy? You know what it was? It was during my gaming streams because I don't ever, I have such low expectations. I'm gonna be real with you guys. Uh, I have such low expectations for my, for my gaming streams that I'm ever, I'm always surprised that anyone shows up for those, you know? It's like, I know I got my regs. I know Caustic will be there and, and you know, Kate's usually there. And, um, this contingent of, of regulars, but when I actually get new viewers or just more viewers than I was expecting while I'm playing video games, I'm like, dang man, you guys could watch. There are thousands, thousands of other people streaming at this very moment, even right now, and you are choosing to watch me peel a carrot. You know, maybe you didn't you didn't expect that I'd be peeling a carrot right now, but you know, you guys are watching me, and that is so crazy to me, like. What is life? What is this life? You know, like I tried to explain Twitch to my mom and my mom and dad are pretty old fashioned and they don't really get it. Um, so they don't, they don't really understand. They kind of got YouTube when I was doing YouTube videos back a few years ago, but the live stream thing, they don't really understand. My mother-in-law kind of understands it, but doesn't, I wouldn't really say that she does <laughs> entirely either. Um, so it's, it's just crazy, man. Garrett, what's up, Jay Wynn? What's up, Jay Wynn? Welcome to the stream, man. That's right, I'm being nice to you. I don't feel like trolling you today. I've been, had a hell of a day at work, man. It's crazy. Work has just been a hound. Work has been an absolute hound to me, guys, lately. Like, it's been Gregor Clegane to me. And uh, the one thing that I, I'm loving even more than ever is the this, this streams. Uh, Cause I know you guys are gonna be here. And like I just was saying, like, you will be here and people are watching and it's crazy. 
Um, and uh, yeah, it's just nuts. This parsnip feels like it's going to die. I'm gonna cook it anyway. Your chef yourself, what's up? Welcome. Let's have a truce today. Okay, Jay Wynn, we'll have a truce. Some next level. <laughs> so is it Vigis? Vigis? Vigis Gaming? What's up, man? Um, so right now I just butchered up a chicken uh, very aggressively. It was awesome using my butcher knife. It was pretty sweet. Uh, my cleaver, I guess. And uh, so I'm just peeling up some vegetables. I got some carrots. I got some uh, some parsnips here. I'm going to make a quick stock with the, uh, really? With the backbone. And uh, going to have some root vegetables under there. I got some potatoes. I got some onions. Uh, it should be pretty good. I mean, nothing. And so I'm going to sear the chicken really hard first in the saute pan and then roast it to make sure it finishes cooking all the way through. And then, oh man, it's going to be, it's going to be tasty. It's going to be tasty, guys. It's going to be tasty and it's going to look super sexy too. That's my hope anyway. I hope. It's my one hope in life to just have sexy food. That doesn't even make sense. Is that the stuff you grow in Stardew? Yes, this is the, the first crop that you grow in Stardew. These are your parsnips. These are the fruits of my Stardew labor. Um, I bought them from Pierre for 10, 10 gold per seed. And uh, I, I waited four days and I harvested them. And I just got some, uh, some regular, some regular parsnips. I don't have any of the gold star parsnips, unfortunately. I sold them all uh, yesterday. <laughs> I sold them all yesterday. <laughs> Shadow on point. I like it. I like it. Um, okay, so we got a few carrots peeled. We got a few parsnips peeled. I do uh, want to throw a potato or two in here, too. I bought two potatoes, so I guess we could cook both of them. You think they'd sell chicken all cut up for you in the grocery store? Usually just specific pieces. Yeah, the, <laughs> Barley and Swine, what's up, dude? Well, yeah, the, the gold star, you have to sell the gold star because that gives you like three times the money, you know? Like why why bother uh, selling, well, man, this peeler sucks. Um, why bother selling or, or cooking with the uh, the gold star produce? You, know, you can get the most money out of it. I mean, I guess you could turn, you know, the non-starred produce into um, like parsnip jelly or whatever, <laughs> preserved parsnips, which sounds disgusting to me. Pickled parsnips sounds kind of gross, but I've never had it, so I can't accurately uh, decide how I feel about it. You know what I mean? All right, so we had a, a little black spot in there. Let's get rid of that. Uh, put that potato right there. Oh man. What's up, but what's up man? Barley and swine, welcome to the stream, man. It's been a while since you've uh, been in the strum. My spuds have gone soft and had eight centimeter sprouts. Holy crap. Holy crap. It must look nice to get some appetite or sex. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. So, uh, man, that's, that's some huge, huge sprout -a -roonies. Luckily, Luckily, I don't have any sprouts here. I just have spuds. Oh, these spuds have... Yeah, they have these black spots. They have these black spots that that are not not delicious. True story. Spoiler alert. These black spots in the potato. Not the best. Not the best. That's why I don't like buying like I don't know where you guys are, but uh, like my grocery store will sell a bag of like five pounds of potatoes. I don't like doing that because it's like you're stuck with the whole bag. You know, it's like if at least if I handpick some potatoes. If they suck, I have a. I feel like I have a higher chance at not getting cancerous potatoes. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean? What's up, Spike Tiger? Welcome to the stream, man. Human person. Welcome, welcome. I just have a haunted kitchen here. The lights will go on and off, guys. Don't get tripped out. Everything's fine. Everything's on the up and up here in the Chef Lethal stream. I want to thank all of you beautiful humans for being here. Um, what am I doing? First, I need to cut up some stuff, and then we'll go in there. All right, so let me check here what we got into this potato. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not super stoked on this potato. I'll, I'll admit. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna quarter, quarter these, these guys here, so we have nice big wedges. Maybe cut this thing out because it's kind of gross looking. 
And I'm just gonna kind of cube it up a little bit and we're gonna have uh, potato cubes or some facsimile. I guess I didn't really have to peel them either for what I wanna do. Yeah, it's all right. So I see a little blackness, darkness. I see a little darkness in there. We got a little bit of this right here. Yeah, just cleaning up some potatoes, guys. Just cleaning up the potatoes. One medium size. Exactly. Minecraft. Barley and swine. I've never heard of such a thing. I've never heard of such a game. It sounds dumb. It sounds like something only kids would play. Are you a kid? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Ha! Ah, kidding. Get it? I'm hilarious. Please love me. All right, so I'm gonna cut up the uh, the carrot here. That's gonna be for something else. Yeah. So I've, I've got, I'm gonna have carrots for for like a, this little mini quick stock. Hi. Right, what would you like? Oh. One sec, guys. We got to go into the leftovers portion of the stream, where I get to heat up Mrs. Lethal's quesadilla from our Mexican adventure last night. Super excited on that. Pull and flip. All right. So what we have here is a delicious chicken quesadilla filled with chicken and quesadilla. So we will put it into the microwave and we will allow it to cook for approximately 30 seconds. While that's going, I'll go ahead and start chopping up some more carrots here. So I'm going to take off this root, and now I want to make some carrot pieces that we're actually going to eat. So like, I've got carrots that are going to go into stock, and I've got carrots that are actually going to go into the, the dish. And those are going to cut on this bias, which is just a fancy word for saying on the diagonal. A diagonally. We're cutting it on the diagonally. There we go. So that's going to go over there with the potatoes. Now we check the quesadilla to make sure it is as nuclear hot as possible. It could use another 50. I'm going to go 25 seconds. 25 seconds should be the appropriate amount based on the recipe that I just made up in my head. Haja! Haja! That's right, man. We cut up carrots like a boss here. All right. So I'm going to go I say that's probably good. I got, I'll tell you what, we'll go one more for food and one more for the, uh, for the stock portion of the program, of the program. There we go. And we check on the nuclearicity of our chicken quesadilla. It looks like we have achieved cheese. There we go, guys. You can see some oozy deliciousness. I'll take a glamour shot of that. Half past never. There you go, boo. You're welcome, love. All right, back to carrots. Do, 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 do. Hmm? do we have sour cream? That's a great question. Wow. Woo! I think Costumes is jealous that he doesn't have a quesadilla. Uh, let's see, let's see. We have cat food and yogurt, but no sour cream. Okie dokes. So we got two carrots for the actual consumption portion and two carrots here for the not consumption part. Oh man, get wrecked, Spike. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Caustic gets drunk with power sometimes, guys. Can you blame the man, though? All right, I did make a, a slight boo-boo here. I did not mean to put the chicken into the pan yet. I got ahead of myself a little bit. A little bit. So I take my glove off so I don't get chickeny goodness on my chicken. I mean, on my vegetables. You know what I mean, guys. So just rinsing this out. Woo! All right. Now that it really matters, it's all going to get cooked like super hot anyway. So I just got my my pan here and I'm going to, should I do these separately? I should probably do these separate now that I think about it. Let's do the potatoes first. So I'm just going to throw in the potatoes into my pan. Boop. 
just like so. Perfecto mundo. And then I'm gonna cover this with a little bit of water, a little bit of cool water, because it's cool, man. It's cool. Stay cool, bro. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and turn that on to a heat that is sufficient. Actually, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit it on high heat. I just wanna soften it, par cook it a little bit, because it will not have enough time in the oven to fully cook the amount that I needed to cook. You know what I mean? Um, meanwhile, meanwhile, we have, oh, I have two potatoes, duh. Chef, chef man, what are you doing with your life? I have two potatoes here. Get the other one in quick, quick, go. <laughs> Whoops. So just quickly, we'll go there. And then, ha! Hoot, ha! One more, perfect. Yes, that's exactly what I meant to do. See, it's all about the drama. Man with beard. <laughs> all right. So, I totally meant to, to stall on the second potato, you know, just to make it think that I forgot about it, and I totally didn't, because a jealous potato, believe it or not, guys, a jealous potato tastes better. Bet you didn't know that. Yeah, they totally taste better. So there we go. That's just gonna that's just gonna simmer for a few minutes. Once it comes up to boil, we'll let it simmer for just a moment, a memento, if you will. The man area only. <laughs> I like the way you think, Vigis. Is it Vigis Vigis? I'm gonna say Vigis. All right. So our, the the uh, the oven is at the preset temperature, but I'm not ready for it yet. Parsnips are gonna go in with the roasted part of the vegetables, I think. I don't wanna do that, yeah. So we'll cut these in the same manner as the carrots. And I'm gonna, I'm tempted to not uh, par cook the parsnips, even though it's literally part of the name. Par snips, par cook snips. It's from the word vigilante. Oh, okay. I'll say vigis. Vigis. Sounds cool. That's a cool sounding name, man. I like it. Not that you need my approval, but I like it. All right. So, hold it, cuisine. Here we go. Parsnips have been dispatched. Just, oops, that's fine. It's fine, mate, it's fine. There we go. Please, there we go. So yeah, that'll be fine. That's gonna bowl in a moment. The I say it's like European G, not English. European G. European G was my nickname in high school. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna throw my carrots here. These are my stock carrots is what I'm gonna call them. I'm gonna put them over here. And these are actual cooking vegetables, so I'm gonna put them, I should probably, shouldn't put these together. Should I park, should I park cook the parsnips? Probably, I probably should. Should do the whole thing, right? This is taking too long. Go faster, go faster. I say faster. Lit it up. I got lit, it got lit. Lit, lid, lud. Had a lot of nickname. It's a long four years, Caustic. Trust me, man. Trust me. Oh, I have celery too. Don't forget about the celery. The celery is gonna go. I think I'm just gonna use the celery in the stock portion of the program. So I'm just gonna go two stalks. Two stalks. Our celery stalked us. What's this? Okay. Ooh. And we'll go. And then we'll go. We'll do the same thing down here. Because it's filthy, filthy celery. And it doesn't have to be perfect or nice or neat or anything like that. Because it's just going to. We're basically just using its body at this point. Like this is. Uh, this, uh, this, this celery sold itself for the night to us. We're only using it for its body. 
It doesn't mind. And I don't mind. Mrs. Lethal doesn't mind. Nobody minds, guys. It's, uh, it's all consensual. We're all consensual adults here. <laughs> all right, so I got an onion here. This is gonna go... I think I'm gonna do half onion in the, uh, in the stock portion, the quick stock that I'm making, using the backbone of the chicken that we cut up. Thankfully, Mrs. Lethal was not home for that. I don't think she could have handled it. Uh, I told this story before, but I had a different audience back then. But uh, back when I, I used to do YouTube videos, guys, uh, I used to do YouTube videos and tutorial type stuff, kind of like what I'm doing now, but it was heavily edited down and it was a lot more boring and I hated it. Uh, I, <laughs> I found out that I ended up really not liking it very much. But um, I was, I had done a few episodes and I was like, you know what, I really need to, I need to cut up a chicken on, on camera. I need to show guys how to butcher a chicken because it's a valuable skill to have. And by this point, Mrs. Letha was helping me out like with camera angles and she was kind of directing me as to what would look good and, and what kind of things I should do and, and stuff like that. And she would, you know, help actually hold the camera and give me some good angles and stuff like that. So I told her this and I was like, yeah, I think I want to do a chicken. And she was like, like a, like a whole chicken? And I was like, yeah, like a whole chicken. Because it's, it's really cost effective to do a whole chicken because like I can get a whole chicken for like $1.99 a pound, whereas you can get chicken breast only for like $4.99 a pound. I'm like, yeah, I want to do a whole chicken. It's, it's a good practice. And she said, okay, well, I don't know. I'll, I'll try and help you, but I don't think I could, I mean, she gets pretty, gets uh, squeamish a, a little bit sometimes, guys. And uh, stuff in real life, not so much like if it's television violence, she'll just look away usually, but something in real life, she can't handle it very well. Could you also make this recipe work without chopping everything up? I've seen, I feel like I've seen a few rustic versions with whole veggies. She wants my knife. <laughs> um, McKay. Chop it up. Well, I mean, you can't just like use a whole onion. Um, I guess, I don't know, I guess you could. You'd have to alter it just a little bit uh, if you wanted to do whole vegetables. Like you have to use like fingerling potatoes. Um, you'd have to, it would just be a little different. You could totally do it though. Maybe, maybe minimal chopping like to get your carrots down to a smaller size type thing. Uh, but anyway, so I was, I was cutting up this chicken and I was, I was excited about it. I was like, Mrs. Liz, so basically let's pretend like I was in this house. I was in a different house, but let's just pretend I was, I was doing it here. Mrs. Lethal was on a, a chair behind me with the camera over me like this. So I didn't have fancy, you know, clips or anything like this. So she was over me like way up here with the camera, right? And, uh, and so, you know, I'm doing the thing and I'm, I'm talking to the camera, the other camera, and I'm like, yeah, so we're just gonna do this and we're gonna chop, chop, chop. And at one point she goes, hold on, we have to stop. And I go, well, what's wrong? I, I, I'm like in the middle of chopping up this chicken. And she gets down and she's just like, Whew. I need to take a break. I'm getting a little, getting a little squeamish over here. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, we don't, uh, we don't want, uh, vomit <laughs> on the on the chicken. Oh, we have boiling potatoes. We don't need to boil. We don't need to boil, Mr. Potato Man. We just need to simmer. I, that came. That happened a lot quicker than I thought it was going to. So we've got boiling potatoes. Uh, I just want to part cook them, like barely, barely, barely cook them, and then I'll strain them out. Because that's what you do when you have potatoes. Uh, you strain them out. What you got there? Okay. <laughs> um, and what's up, Vanu? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the stream. So we got potatoes going. Anyway, so yeah, so that 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 episode of the of the thing took took a while to uh, <laughs> to film, and I haven't done it since then. So I I told her I was doing the stream tonight, and she was like, "I right, will just make sure that I'm not watching." I was like, "Yeah, I'll be sure to announce when I'm gonna start cutting up the chicken," and I did. I gave everyone ample warning that there was going to be butchery, and it was a lot of fun. So I'm trying to go relatively thin julienne here. Oops, on the uh, on the on the onion. I love me some onion, guys. I really do. I know I use like an onion every stream, basically, but I do love me some. Onion. Can I get it? Can I get it? 
Ah, almost got it. Almost got it. That's okay. So there we go. We got all that ready to go. That'll be for the actual dish, though. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> Hi, none. Oh, boy. I think I tweeted out that there might be margaritas. There's no margaritas tonight, guys. Mrs. Lethal has spoiled us. We have Crown Royal Apple and Cranberry, which if you haven't had this combination, it's magical. Oh God, it's magical. It is so magical. I gotta get the knife work done before I get drunk because it's gonna happen. All right, potatoes, I don't even know. I'm just gonna risk it. I'm gonna brisk it and say that they're to the level that I desire them to be. Oh, I should not have done that. That was a big, big, big mistake. You see guys, what I should have done, the responsible thing would have been to just scoop out the potatoes and save the water. Oh my gosh, what a crazy concept. Yeah, that was really dumb. I apologize guys. I, uh, I, I was, got so excited. I got so excited about the, the maple drink. What am I doing? Hmm? I'm not mad at you. Oh, not, well, you got it. <laughs> Mrs. Lila says, don't blame it on me. I'm like, you're the one that bought it. <laughs> Which I am so totes excited about. All right, maybe I should throw the, the parsnips in there too. You are forgiven, sir. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna take a chance on love here and throw the parsnips in with the carrots. Hopefully, the parsnips don't turn orange. <laughs> if they do, then we have parsnip flavored, or we have carrot flavored parsnips. And I could think of worse things, I guess. But uh, here, we'll just throw that in there. We'll kick the heat back up. Not off, chef. Come on, man. Turn the heat on. Turn the heat on. There we go. <laughs> All right, I don't need my peeler anymore. What is that? I don't know. I don't need the peeler any longer. So we'll throw the peeler in the sink, the sinky poo. Oh, snapperoni. Do 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 do. Ah. So while this is going, what else can we work on? What I want to do, I want to save like the chicken portion all at once, so I can put the camera in our super secret special angle and have it facing that way. I think that'll just be a better, uh, a better angle for us to work. Uh, uh, uh huh. What's up? Go. Right, let's throw away the uh, styrofoam that the uh, the thing came in. We're doing good on time, though. I think. I feel like we're doing okay. I feel like we're doing okay. Do the same work. Just turn the music louder, and we have ten plus orders, and start dancing when preparing. That is a very good point, uh, Vigis. That is a good, good tactic. Uh, I only worked in a restaurant long enough for my externship, and honestly, I have so much respect for people that do that sort of work and enjoy that sort of work because I hated it. <laughs> I absolutely hated it. Uh, worst experience of my life. True chain story there. Um, let's see, I'm also gonna need this lemon. We're gonna use a little bit of lemon in our stock sauce thing. A Little bit of lemon, I've said this a few times, a little bit of lemon really does help. Um, a lot of things uh, like if your sauce is good but you feel like you just feel like it needs something and you can't quite put your finger on it hmm a little bit of lemon a little bit of lemon is usually the trick is usually the trick guys true true story you'll you'll add it and be like whoa I can't believe I can't believe it I just needed a lemon like I was, I was at Thanksgiving at a, at a family member's house a few years ago, and uh, we were making like, we, were making, we may have been making leftovers or something. And uh, they were like, chef, would you mind helping us out a little bit? And I was like, of course I don't mind helping. Like, you, this, is, this is my wheelhouse. This is what I love to do. Oh, and McKay, that sounds awesome. That sounds amazing. Um, so I was kind of in charge, I was put in charge of sauce duty. So like they already had sauce for, it was, it was day after, it was day after Thanksgiving. 
and uh, and they had leftover sauce, so they were heating it up on the stove. And uh, family member A was like, you know, chef, whatever you need to do, you know, just help us out here and, and whatever. So I was tasting the sauce and I was like, this sauce needs something like this. It's decent gravy, but it needs something, right? And I was like, quick, family member, do you have a lemon? And she was like, yeah, I have a lemon. Why do you need a lemon? I was like, just trust me, give me the lemon, stat. And she was like, okay. So she gives me the lemon, I slice it up. And I said, taste your sauce. And she tasted it and she's like, oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, okay, okay. And I squirt the lemon juice in there and I give it a nice stir and I let it sit there for a little bit, a little extra pinch of salt. And I came back and I said, okay, family member, taste this now. And she tasted it and she went, oh. <laughs> I was like, yes, just a little bit of acidity. Just a little bit of acidity is all we needed uh, to make something that already tasted pretty good taste even better. And sometimes it's just that little bit of, that little bit of, there we go, that, uh, that, that makes it pop, you know? That's what it's all about, that little extra. Because anybody can make something that tastes good, right? I mean, that's, that's the truth. Anybody can make something that tastes good. But if you have something that tastes good and it's got that extra pop, it's like, yeah, popping it, popping it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get ready my, I got my straight-sided saute pan. I think this might be my favorite pan in my entire repertoire. I love this thing. Uh, it's a three-quart model. Unfortunately, I have this stupid glass top stove. Otherwise, I'd use a, a, a cast iron. It's not usually recommended to use cast iron in this type of stove top because you could either crack it really easily or scratch the thing. And like this top is like hundred hundreds of dollars to replace. It's kind of ridiculous, uh, kind of ludicrous even. Do I need my knife for anything else? I may not need the knife. We may have been finished with the knife work here. I'm just waiting on this to, to come up to a boil. Could you please? I feel like it's getting close. I feel like it's getting close. No. Tell you what, while we're waiting on that, I'm gonna go ahead and shut down this camera, give it a quick move, and uh, this will be in before Kate Nippers. Like, Kate Nippers hasn't said anything in a while. She's gonna, she's gonna come back from her lurk, and the camera's gonna move. This has happened every single time I've done this. I'm getting a little faster at making the move, by the way, um, which is important because right now we're down to only one camera. And that is no bueno. So we make it work. I, I do love this angle very much. Thank you again to the Mrs. of Lethals for coming up with this suggestion. Do I need to go like this? I can't remember which setting I have for my tripod to, to do it though. This is why I, this is why I turned the camera I turned the camera off so you guys don't get like totally motion sickness from it. And I believe, ah, there we go. So we'll move this like this. There we go. That should do. And now I just need to make sure that I get, <laughs> I get that camera plugged up to the power. Otherwise we will have Issues, guys, we will have issues. Issues, we will have issues. Electronic shoes. Issues. How's that? Oh, hello. Oh, this is all screwed up now. It's fine. So the point is that. Okay, whoa. Someone needs another. Sniper Rum! What's up, Sniper Rum? Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're doing all right. Uh, let's go ahead and plug this in. Yeah, eventually, eventually we'll have three camera, you know, goal. Oh, we got boilage. We don't want to boil. Stop boiling! Okay, this time I can just go ahead and do a dump, do a dump job. <laughs> all right, there we go. So we got some vegetables now, par cooked. I'm just gonna let those sit in the sink. Same pot that I just cooked everything in. I'm gonna grab a glove. Don't wanna, I don't need a glove. I'll just grab some tongs here. I'll grab these tongs and we'll throw in the, uh, the chicken backbones that I had, okay? And the vegetation 
the, the rough chopped vegetables that I had. And hold on. Oh, let's switch this up. Um, and do I have bay leaves? If I had some bay leaves, that would be like totes baller. I do have some bay leaves. So we'll go ahead and throw, we'll throw a bay leaf in there. Nothing too fancy. Ah, oh, Vigis, I see you wrote this long message. I, I'm, I gotta get this in before I, uh, before I can read it. Uh, let's grab some peppercorns. Nah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. So we got a little bit of sizzling just because the pan is still hot. I don't really need it to sizzle right now. Bun up. Bun up. I do want to throw some water on there really quick though, real soon. What's the kitchen? About five years, like banquets and stuff, but it gets boring after some time. So in those five years, switched to about eight kitchens. And now I went for Pizza Chef. Working about two weeks ready and it's fun to learn the spin. After that comes sushi. Oh man, Vigis. That sounds awesome. If it is frustrating for you to work as a chef, you just switch places and look for the place you like to work. It, that's easier said than done, Vigis. For reals. And Gaudi, thank you so much for being here, Gaudi. Much appreciate. Thanks for hanging out and dropping that host and all that stuff and thanks. You know I love you. So I'm just going to top this off with a little bit of uh, dihydrogen monoxide. H2O, if you will. Oh, it's really heavy. And by really heavy, I mean it's not really so that heavy. I'm like totally ripped and stuff, you know? You can see. You can see. Round as a shape. All right, I'm just going to let that kind of simmer here for a momento. And chat with you guys for a second. That's easy done. Never been out of work for more than seven days. Well, the thing is, Vigis, like... I don't presently work in the industry. Like I have a boring office job, but the problem is I'm too old. I'm too old to start in the industry. Like I'd have to start as a line cook, getting paid minimum wage. And you know, I got a family to support. I can't, I can't live off no minimum wage, man. Then TLC would be singing about me, like not wanting any scrubs. You know what I mean? Can't be having it. Um, I'm gonna need some pepper here. Definitely a bunch of salt. Bunch of salt. And uh, yeah, Sniper, I'm doing pretty good. It was a really busy day at work for me. Um, really, really, really busy day at work, actually. I was really looking forward to coming home and streaming, which I totally did, obviously. And I have already screwed up my procedure. That's okay, we'll fix it later. Nothing urgent. We have not, we have not destroyed anything urgent. I gotta remember you guys are behind me right now. Hold on, drank, drank, it's over here. I'm hiding my drink from myself, guys. All right, so I've got my my straight-sided saute pan, which is very fun to say as well. I'm gonna go ahead and kick this up to a really pretty high heat. Pretty high heat. Pretty high heat. And I gotta grab my oil here. Over for about 115. 150 to 200 euro a month, and it's lower than minimum in my country. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. I'm a, I'm a little, I feel like I'm a little too old to start at the bottom. You know, I know like you start at the bottom and now you're here type thing, but I don't know, man. I don't know. So first thing I got to do with this chicken is liberally, we're going to liberally season up with some salt dizzle as always, uh, the kosherest of salts. You know what I mean? So we go like this, and then we hit it with a bunch of black pepper. Oh, the black pepper. Black pepper. Oh, yeah. I'm in a singing mood today, guys. It's never too late. I tell you what, Vigis, you're probably right, dude, but I tell you, I really love what I'm doing right now, you know? I got a really flexible job. I don't have to work every single weekend and holiday. Make, I make reasonable make reasonable money, I can pay my bills, can support my family, and I get to come home and stream and do what I really love to do. Cause another, another kind of thing is like, I love teaching and I love, you know, being able to do my own thing. And that's, that's exactly what I do here, man. It's like, I'm teaching, maybe not necessarily you, but you know, I'm out here, I'm out here teaching the science behind some of the stuff and I'm teaching how to do these certain techniques and I love it. And I'm getting to be creative and cook whatever the heck I want. 
I don't have some chef yelling at me saying, no, no, no. I don't know why immediately he's French, but no, no, no. You do not cook the thing like that. It's a horrible French uh, accent as well, but hey, you know what? Everything I do is horrible. Nope, that's not true. I take that back. I take that back. <laughs> Hopefully Kostik's playing WoW and he didn't catch that. <laughs> oh man, here we go. So we just grind up a ton of pepper. We got salt and pepper and we're gonna push it. We're gonna push it real good. Or something, I don't know what I'm, I don't know what's happening anymore, guys. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna grab another plate, maybe? Yeah, grab another plate. Don't look at my cabinet. <laughs> All right, we got another plate here. And once this gets nice and hot, which I don't feel like is gonna take very long, you get plenty of oil in there. As a matter of fact, hold on. Do I have the thing? I may have a thing that, oh, I do. I do have a thing. Nilfie guy, what's up, bro? Welcome to the stream, my man. Hopefully you're doing okay, having a good night, good day, good week. It's been so long since I've talked to you. Actually, it hasn't, but it's all good. So I'm waiting for that to get really nice and hot, and then we're gonna throw the chicken in very carefully, but skin side down, it's gonna make a lot of sound, potentially trigger my um, smoke alarm. Hopefully it doesn't do that, that would be bad, bad. Let's get the salt out of here. I gotta get my station set up, guys. I gotta get my station. I gotta get stationary. So as soon as I start to see little wisps, little wisps of smoke is when we jump into action. I may not even let it get that high because I get I get iffy with the uh, the smoke detector. I don't want the smoke detector to go off because then like Lucy starts barking and it hurts her little ear balls. Her ear bowls? What? I don't know. So we're just waiting on, on the oil now, guys. So we waited for water to boil, and now we're waiting for oil to heat. I know, like them apples. Mmm. As he drinks the apple uh, whiskey. Yep, okay, so I start to see little wisps of smoke. Wow, that was disgusting. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, all right, so get your ear balls ready, guys, because we're going to have some straight-up sizzle action that uh, will will hopefully be pleasurable to your ears. So first I want to go like that. Try to avoid spillage here. And what I'm looking for is a really, really, really hard sear here. And I'm doing this in batches. My pan's not quite big enough to get all of it done in one batch, so I'm doing it in two. Put a bit of salt. The oil before you start cooking the chicken, you will get it less messy. Just a little tip. Um, if you don't want to get oil all around the pan. I did not know that, man. That's good advice. Thank you. It's a little bit too late. <laughs> it's a little bit late. Um, but uh, that's good advice. I will remember that for next time. This I want to get hotter in the back. Get it hotter in the back, guys. What? I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. We got a new follower. Who's that? Azurin and a bunch of numbers. Thank you for that follow. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're having a good day, having a good time. I really appreciate it for that follow. Things are wonderful. I wonder. Things are fantastic. Why not? Things are amazing. What? <laughs> we got all the words, man. All the words making me read all that too. All right, so I'm gonna let that go for a little bit longer, just to make sure. Again, want to have a really, really good sear on the pan. But yeah, Newfie guy, I'm doing all right, man. Really busy at work lately. Um, I feel like I feel like I may slightly potentially be getting groomed for like a, a promotion type thing, which I'm slightly resisting because <laughs> it means 
This might have to sacrifice, but we'll see. We will see. I kind of like what I'm doing right now. <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. All right, I'm gonna. I want to take a peek here. I'm just gonna try to move the chicken. Like if it if it lifts up from the pan, then then we're pretty okay. Oh yeah. We got some nice nice browning here. So I'm gonna flip the legs. Yeah, that okay. This one didn't get quite dark enough. This one's pretty. This one looks okay. And I can throw a piece of. Here, I'll throw this thigh in there. Skin side down. Crank the heat back up. Put this back on. And then we'll be good to go. Tough choices, maybe. I don't want to get ahead of myself, Nuvi guy. Um, I don't want to get ahead of myself. Like, like I said, I kind of like where, where I'm at right now. Um, I, like, I like the flexibility of being an underling, you know what I mean? <laughs> So I can come home and actually disconnect and chat with you guys and cook these crazy meals and stuff. Also, guys, if you're new out there and you're lurking, just know that I love you for it. I love my lurkers. It's been a while since I've mentioned this. Love my lurkers. You're more than welcome in my chat. Uh, even if you're not chatting, you're more than welcome in the channel. Um, you don't have to. You don't have to come out of lurk to say hi or anything like that. Just know if you're out there and you're enjoying yourself, just please hit that follow button. Really does help me out. Really does mean a lot to me. Um, yeah, it would be really awesome if you did such a thing. I am normally live. Oh, that looks so sexy. I'll show you this, guys, in a minute. Um, but yeah, I'm normally live on Tuesday and Thursday evenings doing cooking streams. And then I do gaming streams over the weekend. Usually, like, on a Saturday, I'll, I'll do some video games uh, just to switch things up a little bit. Uh, this Saturday, I will be live around 9 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. That's, uh, that's in an hour and a half, 12 hours in the past on Saturday, 9 a.m. Eastern Daylight, approximately, doing what I'm calling Special Project Saturday. So starting Saturday, once Saturday a month, I'm going to be doing a special project that uh, is, you know, an item or a recipe or something that I can't really do during the week. Either it's a little bit too much for a weeknight stream like this, or it just wouldn't work out for whatever reason. And this Saturday, we're doing pretzels, guys. I'm going to be making pretzels. And, uh... With dipping sauces, I've already got it all figured out. We're gonna be making some roasted garlic and bacon pretzels with uh, some beer, like a beer cheese sauce and a honey mustard. And uh, it's just gonna be amazing. And I really hope that at least some of you make it out there because I do feel like it's gonna be a really good time. So I'm taking the chicken breasts out because they have, they have gotten their, their, their daily dosage of sexy for the moment. This other stuff in here is, is still gonna continue to cook. And I'm gonna go ahead and throw in the other pieces of chicken here. The, the smaller pieces of the, of the booby. There we go. And we'll go with this one as well. Oh, I just, I have ju I just, I am, how, how can I, I can't even talk. I can't even talk. I'm getting splattered with oil right now too, it hurts. I'm burning for you guys. There we go. Get it all in there, seal it back up. Put it like that, woo! Bandora. Bandora. <laughs> Arneezy, what's up, man? Woo! What's up, Arneezy? Thank you for that host, dude. Welcome to the stream. And Bandora, you welcome back to the stream. What did I miss? Oh man, I scrolled way too far. I scrolled way too far. Let's try here. So now we're in the... <laughs> yeah, I probably will go for fallow before I go to sleep. You look like a fun guy to check out from time to time. It's 2.40. Holy crap, <laughs> vicious. Go to sleep, man. <laughs> go to sleep. So thank you for hanging out, man. Really appreciate it. I'm not judging you, Bando. I just don't want to hear about it tomorrow. Like... <laughs> If you stream tomorrow night, you're going to be like, I'm so tired, guys. That's not your actual accent. I can't do your accent. I've never tried. My back's coming along better. I have one more day at the hospital and rest up. That's awesome, dude. Newfie. That's amazing, dude. GG. I didn't know. Are you at the hospital? Like, are you in the hospital currently? Like, 
staying there because of your back? Because if that's the case, then no, dude, that's not good. All right, so I think, oh yeah, oh my gosh. We have such beautiful, beauty brown, the brownness of beauties. What? I don't know, man. Look, the chicken just looks really sexy right now and I'm just really excited about it kind of thing, you know what I mean? What kind of games do I stream? Normally, what's up, Sniper Room, welcome back. Um, normally, Vigis, uh, I'm more of like a casual guy so I can keep track of chat, but lately I've been playing Borderlands 2. Um, I played Minecraft, Stardew Valley, uh, I've got Morrowind, like, uh, mostly older games too, because I don't have the best PC. But look at this skin, guys. Can you even see? Look at, okay, this guy right here is the best, the thigh is just beautifully crispy and just, mm, I want to eat it right now, but it's not done. The chicken's not cooked through. The whole purpose of this step is just to get the nice golden crust on it. Um, so then we'll roast it and then it'll finish cooking and it will be totes amaze balls. You do more than sing stuff. Whoa. Yeah, I'm so, I'm really excited. We got a really good sear, particularly that, um, that thigh. I, I get kind of nervous, like when I do hard sears like these, because I don't want it to go too far. Like this one's probably done and it's still going to brown a little bit more in the oven as well. We're roasting at a pretty high temperature. Also, I feel like my saute pan's losing a lot of heat right now. I'm going to turn this up just a little bit and kind of move the pieces around. There's another little trick you can do is like move the pieces around in the pan to where maybe they haven't had as much stuff on there previously because it's going to be a little bit hotter than maybe where like a piece of chicken was just there. Nice crust for a rookie. Oh, oh, somebody. This Vidges guy, who do you think you are, man? No, I'm just kidding. I take it. You're good. You're good. Oh, we're smoking. Why are we smoking? What's, what's burning? What's happening? Oh, I put the heat up too high. No, the heat's too high. Heat's too high. All right, we'll take out this leg. Put that right there. Let's check these guys. Oh, these act these these are actually good. I'm gonna I'm gonna cook just a little bit. Oh, that, okay. So that piece burned a little bit. That's fine. We call it extra caramelization. We don't call it burnt. We call it extra caramelized, guys. It's extra flavor with a U. Also, my little miniature stock is resting in the, or resting, it's semi-boiling, so I'm gonna turn that down just so we're not totes boiling. We don't want to totes boil, we just want to sort of boil, you know what I mean, man? All right, so that's gonna finish cooking, or not even cooking, but that's gonna finish doing its thangalang. I don't know. I don't know anymore. Oh, okay, that's cool, Noofy guy. That's good. Okay, I was like, oh man, are you even in the hospital? But no, that's like a probably like what, like a physical therapy type thing you have to go to the hospital for. I get that. I'm glad. I'm glad things are moving along though, man, because I remember there for a while you were not doing well, and maybe you're still not doing well. But I remember like when you first started joining my streams and stuff, you were talking about all this like medication you were on and stuff, and I was like, who is this crazy guy? It turns out you're pretty awesome, dude. I don't take it. Don't don't worry, Vidis. You don't have to apologize, man. <laughs> you don't have to apologize. <laughs> I can I can assure you that I can I can tell. I, I'm a pretty good judge of if you're joking or if you're just being a troll. Um, so no need no need to apologize there, man. All right, so I'm 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 happy. Oh man, I'm so happy. Like with this plate of extra brown crispy chicken, uh, super. This is super, guys. Um, we're just gonna have to... This plate, this plate's not big enough for the two of us, kid. What? That doesn't even make sense. All right, that should probably work. All right, so now I've got all this hot oil that I do not want or need <laughs> at the moment. Okay, this is actually too warm. Let's turn that all the way down to nothing. Um, hold on, I need to eliminate this oil from my life. I need to get rid of the oil. And this dang apron, I swear to Bob. Bob. <laughs> Sorry. I steal, I steal words and phrases from streamers that I enjoy watching. I think Cherry Griffin knows where I got that one from. <laughs> kind of veggies are you roasting? Arneezy. From that oil, you can make a nice sauce. Um, 
Well, I plan on pouring out the oil and using, I'm gonna deglaze really quick and then throw the deglazed liquid into the stock. I don't think I really need the, I'm gonna hold on to it though, I may need it. I'm gonna get most of the oil out here. Yeah, I know I can make like a roux and a little bit of uh, a little bit of wine, um, but for right now, I'm more concerned about getting this thing done. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna turn that heat down a little bit. Let's get that going back again. Grab my scraper and my chicken stock. Still can't play with the nephews, but you do anyway. <laughs> Dude, you gotta be careful. <laughs> you gotta be careful. Like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna obviously baby you, but don't, don't make it worse. All right, so I'm gonna wait for this to get a little bit warmer. Like right now it's warmer. We'll do that. Yep, we'll just throw a bunch of stock in there. Just like that. That was a glorious sound. And we're using this just so I can scrape up all the little browned bits that were on the bottom of the pan. Uh-huh. And these will dissolve in the chicken stock and add additional flavor. Just trying to get it all in there. Turn the heat back up to high. Let that boil for a few moments. All right, so when I'm over here, can you guys hear the music at all? It's kind of a quiet point of the music. It's a horrible time for me to ask that. So forget that I asked that. I'm not ready for you to answer that because I asked it. Don't answer. What? Whew, I'm tired. <laughs> all right, we're gonna let that keep going. So once that's done, I'm gonna throw the chicken back in the pan and then that will go into the oven. Two. Oh, what kind of veggies do I have? Uh, I've got uh, some chopped up uh, russet potatoes, I've got some carrots, I've got some parsnips, and I've got some onion that I'm gonna throw in there as well. Didn't mean to ignore your uneasy. I, I was in the middle of answering you and then I read something else. <laughs> Can hear the music, oh, okay, cool. Just gotta stop with the volleyball. Dang it, Noofy guy. <laughs> yes. Ooh, it smells like chicken. Imagine that. All right, so now that we got all the goodness, we'll get all the goodness out of here. Going to now pour this into the stock portion of the, of the program back there. Huh. There we go. Give this a little wipey. Just a, a little wipey. Careful not to burn my hand because that would be horrible. All right, uh, front burner, please. Okay, so now I've got to find a way to nestle all of this chicken in the pan here. And I'm going skin side up for obvious reasons. If it's not obvious, it's because the heat from the oven will continue to make it super sexy and stuff and things. So there, I'm trying to be a little strategic here. I'm gonna end up not getting it all in here and I, I'm gonna be really sad if I don't get it all. It sounds nice though, right? Let's at least try to get this in here maybe. Put you here. Sorry guys, I'm totally ignoring chat right now because I'm trying to have strategery, chicken strategery here. I don't think this pan was really made to cook a whole broken down chicken like this. <laughs> okay, so that kind of works. Actually, we might be able to get it here. And I'll show you guys just to verify that I did it. I did it, Reddit. Oh my gosh. Check this out, guys. I got a whole freaking chicken in my pan. 
Now my oven's been preheated at 450 degrees for a long time since the stream started. The redhead kid in, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Oh my God, we got a bunch of new people here. What's up everybody? Welcome, welcome everybody. All right, Bandora's gonna try to go to sleep, so good night. Rather hear the stream than the music. I drown out the music. Yeah, I gotcha. Uh, uh, uh. If I have a thick T-bone, would I cook at high heat for 15 minutes each side? Uh, the redhead kitten. Uh, did I say how to hobbit? What's up, hobbit? Redhead kitten. That depends on on how hot your heat is and how thick your T-bone really is. Um, I would recommend uh, if you have the time for it. A low cook first and then finish it as a sear. Um, depends also how you're gonna cook it. If you're gonna put it, if you're gonna do it on the stove top or you're gonna do it on the grill, lots of variables. <laughs> but when you're dealing with a large piece of meat, usually the, the best method is to go high heat and, or excuse me, low heat and then high heat. So I've got a bunch of chicken juice here. I'm gonna throw that right into the, the stock, the quick stock we're making, just so we get all of the possible flavor that we possibly can. And that's possible. I'm trying not to make a mess here. Guys, I'm failing. I'm failing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kick this up to a boil as well. I'm gonna put it on the right size burner too. How about that? Let's put it on, a, let's put it on the big burner instead of the, the little boy burner. I'm gonna let that simmer for just a few minutes because the chicken juices, the chicken wasn't fully cooked. Uh, so I just wanna make sure that it reaches a temperature that uh, will kill any potential bacteria. Bac bacteria. Yep. That's what I said. Bacteria meant every word of it. Do 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 do. Do do the frying sound of chicken. Oh yeah. All the possible flavor as we possibly can, if that's possible. Exactly. Exactly, McKay. You. It's like you get me. It's like you get me, and you're welcome, right? I love teaching people. I love. Like, if you have any questions, like any any of you guys out there, if any of you have questions. Um, like you don't have to like hold back or anything like that. I'll pretty much answer anything cooking related, most anything uh, person related. Although obviously I draw some lines, but um, yeah, I'm just happy that you guys are all here. Mm, mm, mm. Also, that uh, that apple whiskey though. Hello. <laughs> what school did I attend? The school of hard knocks. No, I'm kidding. Uh, I went to Le Cordon Bleu. Le Cordon Bleu. Oh, I need to, hold on, I need to put a timer on the chicken. Otherwise I will forget about the chicken and I will burn the chicken. 20 to 45 minutes. That's a long, that's a long, uh, we'll check it in 20 minutes. I have an Insta read thermometer. Anyway, I went to Le Cordon Bleu, graduated um, a few years ago, but uh, it was pretty cool. Taught me a bunch of stuff. Tell me a bunch of stuff. I'll be paying on those loans until the day I die. <laughs> True story, guys. True story. It's like, I need to get famous just so I can pay off my loans. <laughs> and it's everybody in life, right? Here's a question. What should you do with cooking oil waste used for frying? By the way, you're talking about how too old you are for the stuff to start from zero. How old are you actually, if that makes sense? Vigis, I am, I'm at least, I'm at least 14 years old. <laughs> and McKay, um, so, it's kind of a, a trick question kind of thing. So, if you're talking about like deep frying, you can reuse it a few times. Um, you can reuse fry oil a few times before you got to toss it. Um, and then tossing it, you can either hold on to it and like check out your uh, landfill, like a local landfill might want it. Um, I've read and heard that like peanut oil is biodegradable and you could just like dump it. I don't believe that. I don't feel very comfortable with that. Um, there may be oil dump spots in your city. Um, so, I mean, you'd have to, I'd, I'd, I, would, I would say it's probably based on where you are and you should probably ask and not rely on somebody who has no idea where you live. <laughs> um, are you thinking about starting your own restaurant? Arneezy, no. 
Uh, working in a restaurant was one of the worst experiences of my life. I have ideas in my brain that could potentially work as restaurant ideas, but I don't have the experience to be able to actually own and run a restaurant, so I wouldn't be able to do it. And yeah, sticker, wow, sticker stealer coming out of Lurk. Okay, you caught me. I'm at least 21 uh, because I am drinking on stream. <laughs> you got me. You got me. I'm at least 14 times two. I'll give you that. It's not that big of a secret. Like, I don't mind telling you guys. I just don't want age to become like a big topic thing. You know what I mean? People get in trouble. I've, 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 I've had moderators ban people because they were joking that they were 13 or 12 or something like that. And they're like whispering that, oh, I was just kidding, man. Like, I don't care. Like, you're saying that I'm going to ban you. My moderators know to do that. Arnie I agree with you. I love to cook. I love, this is what I love to do. Like, streaming right with you guys right now is like hitting like four passions that I have. I love cooking, I love teaching, I love entertaining, and I love something else. But, uh, but yeah, so. Yeah, it's like everything I love to do, man. And it's, and it's, I get to be creative too, you know what I mean? So it's like, I don't have a chef yelling at me to tell me that I need to cook this other thing or whatever. So, wow, Bandora. Wow. I'm a Hugo, what's up? Just for fun. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm drinking Limna. Ask me how my diet's going. Not well. So this is where I admit that I poorly planned this stream because I have I have stock cooking. I've got chicken in the oven. I'll tell you what I can do, guys. This is dirty. I haven't used this thing in a long time. I'll tell you what I can do, guys, is I have some just like chicken breasts. I got some regular chicken boobies from the grocery store. Cause that's where I buy them. <laughs> I buy my chicken boobies from the grocery store. And I think I should cook those and that'll just be like, I can have that for lunch tomorrow. Oh man, I'm gonna have so much chicken. I'm gonna have some baseline chicken, guys. I'm gonna have some baseline chicken, chicken, chicken. Did these lights completely just turn off? These lights haven't been on in a while. They're supposed to be though, that sucks. Oh well, we roll with the punch here. Do 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 Dang it, Caustic! <laughs> You'll be all fit from eating all the chicken. Yeah, I wish I wish it was that easy, Bandora. I really do. Um, unfortunately, that is not how that works. So let's go ahead and grab this while we're here, while the oven's on. <laughs> and this will just be separate. This will just be a separate thing that I, we can talk about and do while we work and wait for the real chicken. That was creepy, right? Was that creepy? I hope it was creepy. Love this song. <laughs> Dang, Bandora, you even got, you've got Noofy guy yelling at you, bro. I, I wouldn't disagree with you there, McKay. I would never ask her to do such a thing. I may just have to find where she has hidden the goods. And we can turn this into a mixology stream. All right, so when I'm cooking, I'll tell you guys, you're looking at my back of my head. That's really entertaining, right? So when I'm cooking for myself, just like boring chicken and stuff I um I tend to just go pretty really simple so like I've just got some onion powder and some garlic powder with parsley which is super fancy I half expected that to spill upon my face which would have sucked and let's go a little bit of chipotle chili powder and that's all I really do to this chicken and then I'll just roast it up really nice what's up the glorious executioner awesome dude and thank you for that follow glorious executioner much appreciated that you hit that follow button. Really does mean a lot to my little face. My big face. My fat face, my ugly, whatever. Anyway, it makes me feel good, man. Thank you so much. 
Hope you're having a good day and stuff. Wow, these chicken breasts are enormous. Holy moly. So the, the chicken that I've got in the oven right now was like an organic, um, like, you know, whatever. It was an organic chicken. This was not. This was like the, the regular boring chicken. Yeah, look how big this is though, man. Holy balls. Crazy. Sticker stealer. Thanks so much for stopping by. Thanks for not stealing my stickers. Uh, but really appreciate you hanging out with us today. Uh, thank you for that follow earlier. Really love all you guys being here. Uh, I'll be live again on Saturday, as I mentioned. We'll be making some pretzels. It's going to be so good, man, hopefully. Uh, I have a question. What should I expect in culinary school? I start culinary school in like three weeks. Oh man, glorious executioner. I wish I'd have known earlier. I would have told you not to go. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just, I'm partially kidding. So, okay, here's what you can expect. I, I don't know what school, obviously I don't know what school you're going to, but uh, so I went to Le Cordon Bleu, okay? And the program, I imagine if it's like an actual, if you're going to like an actual culinary school, not just like a, like a community college that offers cooking classes or something like that, uh, I imagine the curriculum will be relatively similar. So basically what they taught us were all the techniques. So we learned all of our knife skills, we learned the proper way to saute, proper way to braise, we learned all of the mother sauces, um, all of the fancy French cuisine type stuff, you know what I mean? Uh, we learned a little bit of butchery, we learned pastry, uh, we had like a whole six week class dedicated to pastry. Uh, that was a lot of fun, that's where I gained all my weight. Uh, we learned the techniques and like how to cook for restrictions, like we had weeks of just like gluten-free food, or um, uh, like vegan and vegetarian and stuff like that. Um, I would say overall I did enjoy my time there. Uh, but I would say they also kind of sell you on fake promises and, and kind of they really upsell the fact that you could do things but I wouldn't go into it envious with the follow thank you very much dude it's about time I was wondering I'm just kidding man you can hang out and not follow you just make me sad but you can totally do that if you want but um like they sell they sold us this dream that like you can graduate and then you know get rich and famous kind of thing that's what they want they want they want they're trying to sell the tuition to you um, but really really it's just like the skills uh, so I wouldn't I would say don't expect to like get out of culinary school and then you know be able to get a job as a head chef somewhere you still have to kind of like start at the bottom like you have the piece of paper to, that, uh, that shows that you have the skills but you still have to demonstrate that in the field you still need to show that you have experience you know what I mean so that was a long-winded answer uh, Johnson, oh, did you say what? Johnson and Wales, whoa, one of my professors, one of my like chef instructors went there. GG, man, GG. Okay, so yeah, it's probably very similar to what I just described then. Um, very, very intensive training type thing. Uh, will this fit down there? Oh, baby, a triple, just barely, okay. So, so basically for the chicken breast that I just cooked, it was just, Chicken breasts, rub them down with a little bit of oil, salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and chipotle chili powder. And then that'll be lunch tomorrow. In addition to the chicken that I'm making already in the oven, Mrs. Lila and I are gonna be well fed. I'll tell you. Let's chat, guys. Talk to me. What's going on in your life? <laughs> What's up, Drew? What's up, Drew? Numbers? I made it a point to remember that your name is Drew so that I could prove Caustic wrong. <laughs> How can a man sleep if a chef keeps talking about breasts? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Can't have too much chicken. Well, you can. Really nervous about it, but I set my standards high. It's been my favorite hobby since I was very young, and I do appreciate you giving me a solid answer. I'm just here waiting for this homemade pizza to get done in the oven. Oh, snap! Oh snap, Arnie's, that's, that sounds awesome, dude. But yeah, glorious execution, I would just say, um, be prepared to be stressed out. 
Um, most of our classes were like an episode of Chopped or I think Chopped is probably, if you know that show from the Food Network, um, I think, I think most, most class times were like Chopped. Like we had, a, we had a set of things that we had to make and we had like an hour and a half to do it. And we had a lot of stuff. It was like, I remember one time we had to make all five mother sauces and and other stuff and it was like if you weren't there in the 90th minute you didn't get a grade on the thing you know so stress was for realsies uh burger sounds amazing make i don't take orders from you bandora yeah multitasking big big point there glorious big big point <laughs> I've been craving one all week. Then Chef makes a bean vegan burger. And you know what? Even worse than that, Mrs. Lethal, it sucked. It wasn't even a good one. <laughs> At least if it was good. Uh, I did I did heat up Chef Lethal bought with a spam, everybody. Um, I did have a vegan burger for dinner when I came home from work, right before the stream. And I covered it in cheddar cheese and mayonnaise and ketchup. It still wasn't great. I found something the cheese did not fix, which, write that one in the books. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to reach this, am I? Hold on, hold on guys, I'm, I'm doing a thing. I'm off camera for a sec. I did not plan this stream very well, guys. I, I apologize if you don't like listening to my voice, but we got chicken cooking in the oven for a few more minutes. Can I do it? Hold on, guys. Hold on. Oh, we're doing it. It's happening. You don't even know what I'm talking about, but it's happening. <laughs> All right, so now we're turning this into a social drinking stream. That's a thing, right? Fried rice. I apologize if you don't like listening to my voice. I know, why would you be in my stream, right? I mean, you could be here for the, uh, the, the food and not so much for, you know, this thing. <laughs> Chef, if you don't, I will, and we all know love goes through uh, your stomach. Uh, Banjo, you need to go to sleep, dude. You're not making any sense. <laughs> So I'm just refilling my ice. The beauty of this drink, whoa gosh, the beauty of this drink is that it's really like two to three ingredients, you know what I mean? So we're not even including the ice. So the ice is like the fourth ingredient here. So we get, we have a, I have a, a lot of ice in the cup here and I'm just gonna pour a little bit of whiskey in here. Just a little bit, like at least a tablespoon. <laughs> and and, uh oh, and that might be it because I don't see any more cranberry juice in our fridge. All right, so we're having a whiskey drink only with a little bit of lime. <laughs> Sail cat, what's up? Put a little, little bit of lemon, a little bit of lime juice in there too. Take the edge off. What are you guys talking about? That is a little bit. I just put a little bit in there. Oh, I found a secret. Oh, I'm sorry, Tyson. I'm sorry, bro. You okay, dude? Yeah, you're fine. I just stepped on the cat. It's no big deal. Well, okay, so McKay, you bring up a good point. You bring up a thing that I've been, I've been wondering myself, and we just topped this off with a little bit of cranberry juice. This is also really good with cran apple juice. Like, cran apple juice, it's like, just go ahead and uh, throw your keys away because you better not go anywhere because you will drink three of them before you even know you've had one. They're that good for real. So then we're good. So we just, this is our easy bartending. Yeah, Mrs. Lethal makes it the, the easier way or the, the more not light your breath on fire way. So what I'm saying is when is the record screech sound going to like disappear from society, you know? It's not a thing kids, the kids these days would understand, you know? It's like, hold the phone. It doesn't make sense to them. They don't even know what that means. You're good. They don't even know that, um, you know, the save icon is an actual thing, like a floppy disk. Are you looking for the crayon? 
Oh, right, I forgot about that. There's a little bit of crayon in the door, though, behind the pineapple juice. Where? Oh. Don't you need that? I already used it. Oh. Yeah, that's what I found. Mm-hmm. Analog reference, exactly. So, Bandora. All right, lovely folks. Apparently, making sentences isn't working out for me anymore. Hence, I shall go to bed, but only because I want to, not because of peer pressure. All right, Banjo. Well, good night. Farewell, friend. We'll talk later. Hold on, man. This song, though. Whoa, this song went hard. Hold on. Ooh. Ooh. Holy crap! How have I not heard this? Um, Glorious Executioner. I, um, I stream Tuesdays and Thursdays are my scheduled cooking streams. And then on Saturday I do gaming streams. But this coming Saturday, I'm doing a special project Saturday. Once a month on Saturdays, starting this coming Saturday, I'm doing a special project that is a cooking thing, recipe, procedure, something that I wouldn't normally be able to do on a weeknight stream either because it takes too long or that's not something I'd want to do over the week. So like this, like this coming Saturday, I'm going to be live in the morning, like 9 a.m. Eastern Daylight, and I'm going to be making pretzels, roasted garlic bacon pretzels. Uh, we're going to be making some beer cheese dip, honey mustard dip, bacon ranch dip. It's going to be amazing. We got a, we got a, special, we got a special playlist all set up for the stream, uh, so the VOD will not be on YouTube. If you're not live for that stream, you will not get to see it, because I'm not putting it on YouTube. How can I cope with the crazy stream delays versus chat responses? I just do it, McKay. I mean, it's just like any other stream, you know? It's, it's not so much like a video game where, you know, people are telling me, like, look behind you, and, uh, and there's nothing there. I'm going to move the camera again, guys, so hold on. If you are prone to earthquakes, that's my hat. Hello, hat. Man, this song, though. Holy crap. Steal my ideas. No way, bro. No way. Just give me credit. You can steal anything you want. Just give me credit. <laughs> Night, Banjo. All right, it's, it's almost a little too loud. I can't hear. I feel like I'm yelling at you guys, like, guys, listen to me! This is my stream! <laughs> Drops the mic and is out. We'll see about that, Bandor. In before Bando comes back in like an hour. He's like, I couldn't sleep, guys. <laughs> Not a jerk. I never said you were a jerk. That's you putting words in my mouth. Oh, my chicken. Oh, oh, my God, my chicken. Uh, hi, how are you doing? <laughs> Womp, womp, womp. All right, so here's here's a here's a camera's vibrating. <laughs> That's right, so loud the camera's vibrating. So here's a, here's a tip, guys. If you're cooking something in a sauté pan in the oven, remember to put a glove on the hand that you're going to use to grab the 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 pan out of the oven. I've done this more times than I would like to care to tell you. I've accidentally touched it. So I got my Insta Read thermometer. This will give me the accurate temperature in less than three seconds. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take a few temperatures here just to make sure to see where our chicken's at. So like that's probably done. Let go. Let's check the booby here. The booby's close. The boobies is close. Let me check this other booby. Okay, so that one's okay. I'm not even in the chicken. There we go. That one's uh, way done, okay. What about this thigh? Oh, hit the bone. That's way done. All right, I'm gonna say that our chicken is done. <laughs> I'm gonna say the chicken is a little done. Yeah, the chicken's done. Okay. So, we move, we must now move the chicken out of the pan. Wait, nobody rated us. No one rated us, so I can't talk in that accent. <laughs> I'll trigger everybody in the chat if I start doing that. That rhymed. You know what? I'm going to use this ceramic plate because it has a bit of a dip. It has more of a... Oh, gosh. It has more of a dip in it because when you dip, I dip, we dip type of thing. You know what I mean? Um, so I'm going to remove the chicken. 
from the pan here. Oh man, I already know what, I already see what piece is gonna be my glamour shot. Like this chicken looks ridiculously sexy right now. It's ridiculous, woo! It's crazy. You're crazy for this one, Jay. I know, my name's not Jay though. Maybe it is, you'll never know. You'll never, oh gosh, no, 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 don't do that, don't do that. Okay, so I'm just organizing the pieces of chicken here on the plate. I think they may have shrunk a little bit because they seem to be fitting better. Oh, you know what, I'm using a different plate. No wonder they're fitting better, I'm using a different plate. All right, so there, uh-oh, and here we go. Okie dokie, so here, look at my chicken. Uh, you cannot see that thing. My band door. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Caustic knows my name. Also, guys, spoiler alert, Mrs. Lethal knows my name, too. It seems really weird that that'd be a thing, but she knows my name. Also, spoiler, don't touch that with your bare hand, because that will hurt a lot. That will actually hurt quite a bit. So we have flavor in this pan. I'm gonna toss right into the chicken, the chicken stock. Quick stock we made, adding all of the flavor. And remember that, remember that oil? Oh man, most of you guys were here. Remember the oil that I had from when I seared the chicken and I kind of just saved it? Vigis Game is, Vigis Gamer Gaming remembers, but he's not here anymore. I think he left, right? So I'm gonna move this over here. I'm gonna put this right here. Oh baby. And let's turn this burner on to like that. We'll turn this burner onto there. I'm gonna grab the oil that we we got from the uh, the chicken. So that's gonna be chickeny oil. Free, woo! Sorry guys, I have the hiccups. Free flavor, basically. Free flavor. We get out of here and gonna have some dinner. Thank you so much, Arneezy. Hopefully your pizza is amazing. I'm sure it will be. Thanks for stopping by, man. Really appreciate it. Thanks for that host. Do, 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 do. Hopefully, ow! I did it. I did it. Yep. I'm fine. I'm fine. Man. <laughs> Dang it. I tell myself. That's my dominant hand, too. I'll be fine. So we got that in there. I'm gonna go ahead and toss in the par-cooked vegetables that I had earlier. Mm-hmm. Woo! <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna crank this up to pretty high here. I wanna get it tossed, tossed with the, uh, the oil here. And I'm gonna hit it with a with a healthy dosage of salt and a wee bit of pepper. Just a wee bit. Just a wee bit. Cause the uh, the chicken oil is already gonna have some of that seasoning already in there. Do 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 become the become the I become the There we go, just a little bit of salt, maybe a little bit more. We got some potatoes. Potatoes love salt, guys. One of those veggies, one of them tubers, love salt. It's not a tuba. <laughs> no, Arnold. Potatoes are tubers, man. It is a tuba. Right. Never forget. Stop it, lights. No need to apologize, glorious executioner. No need to ever apologize for that, man. Never, never, never. No, you're never gonna get it. All right, so I'm gonna let this, I'm gonna let this go for a minute here. Just on the stove top, just like that. Get whatever's on the bottom to get a nice little crust action going. Man. Whew. And my palm's a little stingy right now. Meanwhile, my chicken looks delicious though. I may have to bite into some of that, you know, quality control, taste test type of thing, you know what I mean? before we do the uh, the glamour plate, you know what I mean? I'm gonna let that go. I wanted to check. So the plate, I was thinking, now I'm thinking about the final plate. 
The final plate is potentially gonna look really bland cologne, you know what I mean? Um, we're gonna have roasted veggies, dark chicken. I need something kind of bright on the plate. So I found some chives, I found chives. I already had chives in my, uh, in my refrigerator. Some of them look like not great, um, but some of them look okay. I may be able to make like a little bit of a chive garnish type of thing over here, but I'm, I'm totes gonna try it out. So I'm gonna make sure that they're dry and yeah, it looks like, looks like, looks like we can make most of these work, I think. Also, what if I moved over here so that you can actually like totes see me and stuff? Do you like the creamy fat from your steak or do you prefer cut cut off? Uh, both glorious. Sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. It uh, depends really mood. Uh, generally what kind of, it depends on usually what kind of cut it is as well. All right, so let's just go ahead and throw this into the oven with the other chicken that's in there. Woo! 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 Woo. Well, apparently I'm an owl now. <laughs> let's turn the burner off too. I can tell you, I do that more times than I would care to admit. Uh, actually, I'm gonna come back over here. I changed my mind. I was gonna try to cut over there, but then you can't see the above. You guys can't see the above, so I'm gonna come back over here. Oh, and we'll go like this. Hello. We're gonna have an earthquake again, guys. Earthquake. Ah. Okay. That's probably okay. That's probably okay. I also have onion. I also have onions still that's gonna go. There we go. Uh, the onion's still gonna go in the pan with all the other vegetables, but I wanted to make sure those got cooked first for like at least another 10 minutes. Let me put the 10 minute timer on the clock. The 10 minute timer. That's what I'm talking about. A 10 minute timer, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, so then what we do, and by we, I of course mean me is I grab a plate of stuff. I grab a plate here, and I'm going to transplant the onion. This is actually probably a lot of onion for the amount of, of other vegetables that we have. Like the ratio is gonna be a little off, but I don't care. Cause I love onions, guys. Probably like Lucy does too. You don't give your dog onions. I hear it's fatal, fatal for them. Do not give them onions. Learned that from Good Eats, actually. <laughs> What's up, Ick? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I think I'm just gonna have to call you Ick or Laren, because I can't say your name, because um, I'm dumb. Uh, what did you miss? Well, we got chicken in the oven. We got chicken that's been seared and roasted. I'm about to cut up some chives. I'm on my second drink. Onions are fatal for dogs. Costa confirmed, thank you, buddy. I thought so. I wouldn't think my source was lying to me, but you never know these days. Also, guys, never mind the advertisement on the back of my shirt. I am not being sponsored presently by Under Armour. Although if I was, that would not be the worst thing in the world. I would be concerned that they're sponsoring a cooking streamer, but I would not argue with them so much about it. I would just be like, yeah, I could totally represent your stuff. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna try to make some nice little chive garnish for our, for our chicken dinner here. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Am I right? Hopefully, we'll have to see. I think I'm right. I think I'm cooking chicken, right? The label said chicken. You know what's really funny about chicken though? What's really funny about chicken is it has a very similar bone structure to a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Not even kidding. Not even kidding. I was watching a, an episode of Good Eats back when I used to be on the air. And uh, if, you, if you didn't know, I, I learned basically everything I know. Before I went to school, uh, Good Eats was my jam. Release the savage. Huh! And uh, like Alton Brown, the host, was, was showing how to, how to butcher a chicken, kind of like I did on stream today, but a little less fun because he didn't have a cleaver and he wasn't hacking at the chicken. But uh, he was showing 
The anatomy of a chicken using a Tyrannosaurus Rex like 3D puzzle made of wood. And he was like, so if you take off this, this, and this, and it's like a chicken. And I was like, he's absolutely right. That's really weird. And so as he was like carving on the chicken, like he had a, they had a different camera on the, on the Tyrannosaurus skeleton. And like he was doing the same movement on the skeleton. It was really weird. I was like, okay, that's creepy. <laughs> What, what would Bob Ross do with that onion? He'd strike that dish with it, every bit of it. Mr. Oxo on line three. Oh, line three. Oh, McKay, I read that. Ah, I read that too late. I read that too late, McKay. Dang it. I wish I would have caught that just a few minutes ago, man. Dang it, I'm sorry. Call him back. Get him on the horn. Tell him I'm sorry. <laughs> now that, that would not suck. That would be a good relationship right there. <laughs> True story, guys, I did reach out like months ago. I reached out to the, uh, the people that made my, uh, the sous vide circulator that I, that I use. I reached out to them and they, they were like, we will get back to you and they never got back to me. I think they lost my email uh, or something or, or their email, like their outbox was full or something like that. They, just, they forgot to send the acceptance email. So I need to follow up with them and just make sure that, you know, everything's on the up and up. Um, you know what I mean? Cause gosh, <laughs> I was like, I could literally sell three of your serv of your products to my chat. And they were like, only three. And I'm like, you don't understand. It's still, it's still kind of weird. Whatever, I love sous vide. If you don't know sous vide, man, I'll have to do another sous vide stream soon. If you do know sous vide, if, well, wow, whiskey. If you do know, if you do know sous vide, you're probably used to people using it to cook things, which is totally legit. Like I do it all the time. But what a lot of people don't realize is you can equally use sous vide cooking and the immersion circulator to keep things hot. So like, check this out. For Thanksgiving year last year, I made a huge batch of really, 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 really good mashed potatoes. Like I'm not even. I'm not even gonna front on that. They were delicious mashed potatoes, right? And I made them, so Thanksgiving's on Wednesday. If you're not from America, uh, Thanksgiving's on when, uh, Thursday. So on Wednesday and Tuesday, I was doing all this prep and all this cooking and stuff. So I made all these mashed potatoes on Wednesday, but I still had to feed my family on Thursday. You know, everyone was coming to the town. And you can't just like microwave mashed potatoes. You know, it doesn't work like that. Uh, they, don't, they don't come out well. Uh, so I, when I cooked them originally, I sealed them in my vacuum sealer. So I had airtight, a block of mashed potatoes, which sounds amazing. And, uh, when it was Thursday and we were getting ready to, you know, kind of get things moving, I had the, the cooker set to like 120 or 130 degrees Fahrenheit. And I put the potatoes that were in the bag in the water. And then when we were ready to eat, I just zip open the bag, pour the potatoes out. That part was kind of gross throw in some chives, a little bit of sour cream or whatever, and boom, perfectly smooth mashed potatoes. I didn't have to make them on the day of for them to be perfect. You'd never know. No one knew that I cooked them on Wednesday. Nobody knew. They were perfect. They were so perfect. Uh, they may have actually, I think I put roasted garlic in them. And I think the garlic actually intensified uh, overnight. So they were like extra garlicky, but they were really good. <laughs> there we go. Little spin, spin action there. Still waiting on the on the on the on the vegetables to get out of here. But they're cooking up. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and go wild here. I'm gonna like max out my oven right now. I'm gonna go way super. When my oven maxes out at 550 degrees Fahrenheit, I'm jacking it up, man. It's a great idea. It really was, McKay. Um, hmm. It saved, it saved me so much time because I'm such a, I'm so, I'm such a perfectionist when it comes to my potatoes. Um, it's like I, I use the food mill and I get them super smooth and just perfect. And uh, I needed, I needed them to be right. And they were, they were amazing. <laughs> but a lot of people don't think about that. A lot of people don't think about that. And that's fine. You know, like I use, I, I definitely use my, my sous vide setup more than I you know, for cooking than I do for, for heating up or reheating or anything like that. But 
is good. Probably freaked everyone out in the vac and water bath, but they'll learn. I tell you, my parents, at that point, had my dad bought one? I think my dad bought one. My dad already had one because he saw me using it and he was like, I need this. Um, but, uh, yeah, everyone was like walking by it because I have my setup over here. Really lights? It's like I have my setup over here. Can you even see me? No. So pretend like I'm right here and it's over here just a little bit. Like where the menu is basically, is where I usually keep my sous vide setup. And they like walk by it and they're like, what is this block of white stuff in your, in your cooker? And I'm like, trust me, it's gonna be great. And they're like, okay. And what do you know? It was amazing. <laughs> it really was, it was so cool. I would definitely do that every single time. So right now I'm just behind the camera getting the, uh, the colander set up in a bowl and I'm gonna dump our stock in there. We made this quick stock. Uh, hopefully, hopefully it's okay. And we're just gonna turn this into a sauce as well. Um, we'll turn it into at least a, some of it into a sauce. I made a lot actually. Uh, there's a lot of liquid in here. What if I like really boiled it though? Like if I turn the heat up and really reduced it, maybe we'll try that for the next couple of minutes. Uh, uh, -ba -ba um, oh yeah, where's my dranky poo? Zoop. It's my... Is my bot not a moderator again? Sometimes that happens. I need to check on that. That would suck if my bot somehow was not a moderator. I think she is though. And yes, my bot is a woman. Get over it. Oh, I'm, you know what? I need to move this over. I'm too far. I need to be more this way. There we go. Okay, okay. We have a cacophony in here. Sheesh. How we doing? Needs more time. Needs some more time. I will check it out though. Putting the glove on, of course. Woo, it's hot in there. Um, yeah, this looks horrible. It's boring. It's boring. Bot is still moderator, can banner. Okay. Caustic, I like that you just tried. Like, <laughs> I like that you tried. Um, I'm getting impatient with this, so I'm just gonna throw the onions in. And maybe give it a little bit of a toss. Can we? Can we give it a toss? Oh yeah. So the bottom of the pan is getting some nice browning. It's everything else. It's everything else. So we'll just give this a good mix of Rooney here. The lights are driving me nuts today. Even more so than on Tuesday, I think. All right, there we go. Throw that back in the oven. And remember guys, I got the oven like cranked up as high as I can possibly go. It hasn't even finished preheating. We'll get there soon though. I also like, Caustic, that you did correctly gender identify the bot. <laughs> so now I'm boiling the stock. That will soon become the sauce. We gonna get saucy. We gonna get saucy. Hopefully. So for that, we're gonna need some butter. We gonna need some butter. And, oh, I have butter right here. What do you know about that? It's like I have been prepared for this very moment. Um, actually, I did not prepare perspicably for this. The whiskey is kicking in, guys. Perspicably, that is a word that I used. It's not actually a word. The bottom, <laughs> the bottom me have a thing. What can I say? Okay, now I'm triggered. The bottom eye, Costas, the bottom eye. Come on, man. Don't be better, be better than Bandora. I'm just kidding. And I can say that because he's not here. <laughs> Sometimes mustard gets like this crusty, <laughs> this crusty mustard by the, the opening and it's gross. So I'm just taking care of that right now. Mm. So I got, I got some Dijon. 
a little bit of Dijon. So here's, here's how this is gonna happen, right? So I'm gonna strain out the sauce here into a bowl. I want this to reduce quite a lot now that I'm thinking about it, because I don't want that much sauce. So then I'm gonna throw in some cold butter. So as a matter of fact, I should probably put the butter back in the fridge so it remains cold. I'm gonna throw in some cold butter so it emulsifies. And then we're gonna hit it with a little bit of Dijon mustard to give it some acidity, a little bit of uh, depth of flavor. We'll probably need to hit it with a bunch of salt and pepper. And then we will hit it with a little bit of that lemon juice and it should be really, really good. Should be a nice sauce. Get that quote trigger off of safety lock. <laughs> also, that reminds me. And I am no to do. <laughs> that seems uh, strangely and eerily appropriate for today's stream. Sorry there's so much downtime tonight, guys. You know, hopefully you're at least enjoying hanging out if you're out there. Um, don't put your phone right in front of the thing, chef, under the camera. Yeah, hopefully you guys are hanging out and have a good time. Um, I thought there would be more to do while we were roasting stuff. So that's my bad. I, I, I poorly planned this portion of the stream. But you know, we do it. We do it here, man. Everything, every day is an adventure, right? I'm going to get going, dude. Just wanted to say have a great night stream. Dude, and also wanted to thank you for the words of everything going down past from us. Newfie guy, man, thank you so much for hanging out tonight. And always, uh, you are a cool dude. Hopefully everything works out for you, my man. Have a good night. Sleep good or whatever. No downtime. Chill chat is a good thing in my opinion. Uh, not like we're watching you play solitaire. I think it's by feeling the flesh of the steak. Uh, <laughs> uh, redhead kid, <kitten>, what? <laughs> what uh, are you talking about? <laughs> Was that the wrong chat? <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Unless I'm missing some sort of context. Another thing about when I stream is a lot of times what happens is I'll say stuff and it'll immediately leave my brain and I'll have no recollection that I have said the thing. So like, I'll ask a question or mention something and sometimes people will answer or comment on the thing that I said and I'll look back and be like, what are you talking about? Because I have no recollection of saying said thing. The lights! <laughs> Oh, and to Mrs. Lethal, the TV wasn't loud enough. That was as loud as the television could have gotten Newfie on Tuesday. And I laughed so hard at that. I loved it so much. And then I ended the stream, cleaned up really quick, and we continued watching that stupid ass show. And it was amazing. <laughs> stupid Chad. Chad. Or Jared. I don't remember who who's who anymore. Um... But it's, it, that, that's one of those shows we were, okay, so for those of you that weren't here, Mrs. Lethal and I were watching Bachelor in Paradise on Tuesday after the stream. It's one of those shows you can just watch. You don't have to think. We think all day at work. You know, the last thing I want to do is come home and think. Gloria had to tell if a steak was medium rare. Oh, I totally missed that. <laughs> Did I miss that? Oh, the hardest thing for me to do is cook a steak. I can't tell if it's rare, medium, or well done. Oh shoot, I totally missed that. Yeah, it was awesome. I totally missed that, Redhead and Glorious. Um, actually, feeling it isn't usually the best way. The, the best way to figure it out is take its temperature and try to remember the temperatures that things are. Because um, feeling meat, like when people do the poke test, and they'll say, this is medium, this is rare, this is, I don't even know what it is anymore. I used to believe that too, but then I read something. I do a lot of reading on, on, on food science and articles and stuff, guys, so you don't have to. And then I can tell you what I find, and then you don't make the same mistakes that everyone else makes. And you'd be like, look at me, I know what I'm talking about. But like when you poke a piece of meat, its tenderness determines, is not necessarily determined by what temperature it is. Like if you took, if you were to have a, a piece of ribeye 
and a piece of filet mignon in the refrigerator, side by side, and let's say they're both an inch thick. You have an inch thick ribeye, you have an inch thick filet mignon, you both have them in the refrigerator for the exact same amount of time. You take them out and you poke each of them, they are both gonna already feel different. Because the, the ribeye has an exponential amount more fat than the filet does. And they're gonna already feel softer. It's already gonna feel different. So when the filet is medium rare, versus when the ribeye is medium rare, it's a different feel. But when they're both 125 degrees Fahrenheit, they're medium rare. That is the constant temperature. And cutting it open is also not a bad idea. If you don't have a thermometer for some reason, you can cut it open and you will not ruin your steak. Guaranteed. What's up, Lynn? Lynn Wynn, welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a good night. So we're boiling that still and our vegetables are roasting our chicken, our other chicken. Looks like it's cooking up okay. I'm about to just kind of like dump this and start working at it to make a sauce. But yeah, guys, so another, another myth that we're gonna, maybe not bust tonight, but I'll tell you kind of like the science behind it. A lot of people tell you don't cut open your steak, but if you don't have a thermometer and the poke test doesn't work, what other way can you do? So if you just, you know, make a little slit and make a peek, you can totally do that. You're not gonna ruin the steak. You know, the best analogy I could come up with is a lot of people believe that when you do that, you're gonna lose all your juices. Like, you're gonna poke in, and you're gonna peek, and then you're gonna close it up, and somehow all the juice and rendered fat that's in your steak, or whatever, is just gonna seep out the bottom, and you're gonna be left with a dry hunk of unflavored meat, okay? It's not true. Because, imagine this, a piece of steak is not a balloon, okay? It's it's a micro, it's, it's a, it's an organism, right? And inside there's all these pockets, microscopic pockets of cells, right? So you have lots of, you have millions, billions of little bubbles, not one big bubble. So when you poke in, sure, you're puncturing those few bubbles wherever you put the, the knife in and you, and you start to peek and you're like, all right, well, we got a little bit more time. Flip it, just flip it and seal it right back up, you'll, you'll be fine. It's not like, like again, it's not like the steak is a balloon and when you poke it, it pops and you lose all your moisture. It doesn't work like that, that's not real life. So, I get triggered. I get triggered about these sorts of things and I, I need to start educating you guys. So, I don't, I don't mean to offend if I'm offending you or anything like that, it's just me trying to teach the reality because there's a lot of, of myths out there about how to cook things and and uh, a lot of like recipe writers and, and food TV chefs don't do the science or the research behind how things actually work. And they're the idiots that tell you to rinse your chicken off in the sink. What the hell is rinsing your chicken off gonna do that a 500 degree oven couldn't do? You know what I mean? Like that, oh, that just triggers me, man. It just triggers me. I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand. I just burnt my knuckle a little bit on the oven. It's fine. So, thank you all for watching this edition of Chef Lethal Has Been Triggered. I'm gonna drink my whiskey now. So I've turned off the heat on the stock, the stock. I tried to say sauce and then stock at the same time. It came out stock. Like a Russian person or something. But I'm not Russian, we got plenty of time. Brown, brown. Oh, I just reread chat and I was like, what? That's the exact same thing Kasi just said. It's because he did just say it and it's the exact same thing. He did not say anything else since then. Whew. What's up, Tyson, bro? You guys want to have a quick Tyson cam? Hey, right, Tyson, are you going to be nice or are you going to bite me? Oh. Oh, he's purring, guys.
I don't mind being triggered, Caustic. I don't mind being triggered, because it, it makes me go into an educational rant. It could be worse, right? So he does this, Tyson does this, he's just licking me right now. And I really wish you wouldn't do that, I don't like that. I was sleeping in the middle of the night, that's when I usually sleep, and I felt him cuddle up next to me, and I was like, oh man, he's gonna be so sweet and cuddle. And then he started licking my neck. Tyson was licking my neck. And I was like, no, bro, you, you can't do that because that's gross. It was so uncomfortable. So I was trying to like maneuver him so that he would just be comfortable. And, um, and then there he goes, and then he licks. Stop it, bro. I'm a dirty human. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Look at this. This is a tough life of a kitten right here, guys. You don't have to you don't have to lick me, dude. You don't have to lick me. But yeah, the licking the licking of the neck in the middle of the night. Because I wake up really early to go to work, man. I, I, I wake up at like 5.30 in the morning to go to work. And he was and I, I felt him being so sweet and cuddling up next to me. And I was like, yes. Because I want him so badly to be a daddy's boy. And for the most part he is. And then he started licking me right here. I was like, ah, no, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Oh, what's up, dude? Oh, he's giving me sleepy eyes. Oh. oh he's just purring. He's just purring. Oh, man. All right, well, hopefully our sauce is okay. It looks fine. It looks fine. All right, well, this is the stream now, guys. I'm just holding a cat. <laughs> I'm just holding a kitten. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the stream. If you're new out there, I'm just holding a kitten. Hopefully you're okay with that. Oh, he's falling asleep. He's got sleepy eyes. I can't put him down. Look how cute he is. Hey, buddy. Okay. Yep. Red Star, what's up? <laughs> Downtime, hold a kitten. Yep. All right, well. This is the stream now, guys. I'm holding a kitten. Is there, is there a category on Twitch for kitten holding? I'd watch this. Oh my God. He, he's so comfortable. He's just purring his little heart out. Oh, oh my good. Oh, oh, what's wrong? What's up, buddy? I know you have no idea that there are people watching you right now oh my gosh like he does all these things like he's just hanging out just like this he's just chilling i can't handle this right now hey it's okay <laughs> he's like what you moved I did move, buddy. <laughs> okay, I gotta put him down. He's getting so sleepy eyes. Oh, okay, bud. Okay. All right. Oh, good boy. That's a good boy. Okay, now he tries to bite. He's like, you put me down, human. I did not command you to put me down. Man, we still have a lot of sauce in here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that up to high again. And our vegetable, everything's coming together now at the very end, as usual. This is too cute. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed that, Caustic. He was, he was killing me with cuteness, really. I'm not even really like, concerned with like washing my hands right now, because I don't think I'm really gonna be touching that much food. Woo, heat. No, Tyson, Tyson. So I've got, Tyson. So I've got some, like, I got my roasted chicken here that is just for me and Mrs. Lethal, just like, 
for us to eat for lunches or whatever. So I want to take the temperature here. Make sure that, actually see where we are because I don't even know. 150. Okay, so these are done. These are done. No zitches, it's fine. Everything's normal. Nothing to be alarmed about. Just a nose itch, that's all. It's not at all that I have cat hair probably lodged into my nasal cavity. <laughs> oh, yeah, my nose is, my nose is on fire. Now, thanks to you, little bro dude. Dude bro, bro dude, I like bro dude. I need another trivet. I need 22 trivet drive. Oh. This song goes hard too, man. So I got my vegetables here. They're slightly browning, I guess, or something. Boo. So what I want, here's, here's like my end goal with these vegetables right here, right? So they look kind of pale. They look kind of pale, woo, falling. I want to get some decent browning on there and also to make sure that they are cooked. That would be ideal as well. I feel like this potato might be cooked. Hold on. Oh, I just dropped it. I'll never know. Uh, okay. That's my bad. <laughs> Drop the potato. Drop the potato. That's not nearly as good as a dubstep song. So I got some potato here. Woo! It fell in the pan. We're good. Tyson, eat it. Don't play with it. If you're gonna, he found the piece, the piece of potato I left on the ground. Okay. So here's the deal. Five second rule. Nah, it was all squishy. That's okay. Salt. Why did I put my salt away? Chef, you idiot. Don't do that. Yeah, these potatoes, like definitely totes need salt. I'm gonna throw a little bit more salt in the pan here. A Little bit more salt. I know you guys have plenty of salt that you can give me. Luckily, I have some here in the kitchen. All right. So now I give this a nice toss. Again, the oven is as hot as it can go, so I need to really rely on it to get to where I need it to be. There we go. So then, when those are almost done, I'm gonna put the chicken back on top of the vegetables just to make sure the chicken's nice and warm. Uh, it'll be just for like another three minutes or so. Uh, caustic with the salt, thank you, bro. If only there would be a way that you could send that over to me IRL through chat. That would be cool, man. Uh. All right, let's take a uh, let's take a Twitter break. Can we take a Twitter break, guys? Is that a thing that we can do? Because you all have been amazing tonight with the tweetses and the thingses. Did you guys like my my click the tweet? That, that clickbait, the attempt at clickbait that I totally stole from uh, <laughs> from from BuzzFeed. <laughs> So I doubt he's still here, but Cozy, Red Mask, Unholy Biscuit, Bandora, Butcher Block Company. Oh, uh, Cherry Griffin tweeted out a, a clip of our broadcast. That'll be good. Drizzy, Caustic, my man. Thank you guys. Uh, uh-huh. Come on. What, what? Cozy, Cozy is pro lurker mode, everybody. Just when I think you leave, I should know better by now. I should totes know better. Cozy does not leave. Cozy is ever present. Where do I put my phone? I put my phone over here. Games Poner. Oh my God, Julie. What's up? Holy moly, welcome to the stream. How's everything going? Looks like your move went well. Looks like you're having some issues with the internet. 
Welcome to the stream. Oh my goodness, when are you streaming? You gotta get online, girl. Sent you a Zelda GIF on Discord as well. I did see the alert, uh, Caustic. Um, obviously I'm not gonna check that on stream, but uh, I will definitely check that after stream in my post-stream social media breakdown. Make the ground shake. Games Poner. Well, I'm excited you're here. I see, like, you're really awesome about like getting retweets out and stuff like that. And I was like, when are you gonna be here? <laughs> and tonight's the night. The night of just the ever like. Like, if I had to nickname tonight's stream, it would be the stream of waiting, because it seems like that's all we're doing. I, I planned this stream very, very poorly. Just like constantly waiting, everything's waiting. I have to wait for the chicken to finish. I have to wait for the vegetables to finish. I have to wait for the chicken and the vegetables to finish. <laughs> like, man, I could have done much better at this, but I really wanted to cook this procedure slash recipe, so whatever. It'll still taste good, right? Wub, 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 wub. Do, 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 Barking Panda, good night. Thank you for hanging out for till 2 a.m. That's incredible. Get some sleep, man. Crazy. Boo, doo, doo, doo. Cherry Griffin just made better fried rice than the Chinese joint. Sweet and spicy, sweet and sour fried rice. Cherry Griffin. Cherry Griffin, that sounds awesome. I tell you, my, my, my Chinese food place up the, it's literally up the road. It's one street. Up. Like I get out on the main road and I go right and then it's on the left like it's it's a mile and a half up the road They don't deliver Like, What kind of Chinese place doesn't deliver? Like what's happening? Is this real life? Are you guys trolling everybody ever because any any uh, Place any Chinese food restaurant that I've ever known delivered it with at least within a certain radius But they're like nope you have to come to us. They're really nice though. Even though I, I don't go there very often, they still remember me. They're like, you order the sesame chicken on. I did order the sesame chicken. Cause that's all I ever order. <laughs> 20 minute drive away and they still do. Well, thanks for rubbing it in my face, Chad Griffin. <laughs> Although, I mean, it's right up the road. It's not like, it's it's so close to me that I hate driving there. Like I would rather drive 20 minutes because then I know that it's a, a hike. But I know for them, it's like, you could literally ride your bike over here. We do it all the time. Not that we get Chinese food and ride our bike, but whatever guys. What are you, what's even happening right now? What is real? What is real life? Is this real life? Just like a heli delivery charge. Yeah. <laughs> I can bet. We have a pizza place. Oh my God. We have this pizza place that we love uh, here near us. It's semi near us. And we kind of, like last year we learned that they, they delivered us. They have a website. It's like a mom and pop place, but they, they, they had a website launch and we checked the website and they were like, oh, we'll totally deliver to you. And uh, their delivery, like, uh, what am I trying to say? Like the delivery, uh, philosophy or rules state like within five miles but I think it's like five miles as the crow flies so technically we live in a straight line five miles away from this place but through the roads and everything it's like seven to ten miles depending and depending on traffic it took a long time and so they stopped offering us online I'm sure it's a systemic thing so like online it says there are no restaurants in your area that will offer delivery to you. I'm like, well shoot, so I call them now. And every time I call them, this is a true story. Every time I call them for delivery, the girl on the phone, and I'm not being sexist, it's always been a girl on the phone. She'll, like it sounds like her spirits die when I give them my phone number and they say the address. They're like, oh, you're at, okay, yeah, what can we get you? <laughs> I'm like, it's not coming out of your pocket. And we tip the delivery guys pretty well because we know it's a hike. But I feel like they're like, 
I feel like they're always one order away from telling us that we can't order delivery ever again because we're too far. But because we've ordered it so many times, they feel obligated to honor oh, it every geez, time. You know oh what I mean? God. It's pretty funny. How long will it take him to notice? Do, do, do. True! <laughs> Chewy Bag just dropped a $5 bomb on my face. And he says, how long will it take him to notice? Char the Charliest Monica is here, everybody. Really? Laptop? Did you just die? No, it didn't die. The screensaver just came on. Okay, we're not going to walk away with the laptop because that totally just died on me. Cool, man. <laughs> oh my. Oh no. Are we being ra- <gasps> Guys, we're being raided. Holy Raiders, Batman. Oh! We've been raided! Oh! Oh my god! Oh! Charlie St. Monica! Caustic, can we get a Charlie St. Monica caster command, please? Even though they're all, they're all, they already know her. Holy crap! Raiders! Welcome to you Raiders people! Holy crap! We have the wheels of spinach that we have to play! I gotta take the sauce off the heat. The sauce, that sauce is pretty much ready to go. Our vegetables are almost ready to go. They're fine. Holy scouts! Duck tart! Duck tart, thank you very much for that follow. Holy crap, guys, guys, we have a raid game. Charlie St. Monica, thank you so much. I'm really curious how your pizza went. Holy crap, how did your pizza go? Gluten-free. Guys, if you're interested in gluten-free pizza or gluten-free cooking, Charlie St. Monica does art streams and cooking streams and she's amazeballs. Oh my God, Queen Lily Petals 12, thank you so much for the follow and welcome to the stream. Oh my God, all these new people, thank you so much. Charlie St. Monica, we have a raid game. We have a raid game that you didn't even know you were gonna be a part of. We're kind of nearing the end of the stream, so this should be really interesting. So, oh my God, Strunk Gamer's here. Holy moly. Pizza was 10 out of 10. GG, that's amazing. So I'm gonna switch over. We have the Wheels of Spinach. Musician Physician, that's an amazing name. Strunk Gamer's followed. Holy crap, we got followers out the wazoo, guys. So, Charlie St. Monica and chat. Raiders, thank you all so very much for being here. You have no idea. Welcome, everybody. That was... That was an unbelievable raid right now. Holy balls in the club. Um, Charlie St. Monica, you have now been chosen to spin the wheels of spinach. This is a simple three round game where round one will uh, require me to potentially um, add a, an ingredient or ingredients to the stream. And then chat will help you decide, and then you will have the ultimate decision if you would like to move on to round two, which will add an additional layer of difficulty or challenge or some weird thing that I have to do for a certain amount of time. The default time is five minutes. Round three, if you choose to go to round three, is uh, the amount of time that the thing from round two has to happen. And uh, there's, a, there's a layer of, of chance here. There's a layer of luck. Um, so you can actually lose. So that's why, that's why there's a choice. But holy crap, that raid was ridiculous. Also, I don't want to forget, Shrewy Bag, thank you so much for that $5. I noticed very quick. I noticed. I noticed you, boo. Don't you worry. Here we go. Charlie St. Monica, we are spinning round number one to see what sort of weird thing I may have to add to this stream, uh, which will be really interesting because it means I have to make something completely new because everything's pretty much done. <laughs> Grape. Jelly. Oh, crap. Charlie St. Monica, we have to use grape jelly in the stream right now. Uh, at some point before the, the, the night is over, I have grape jelly here and I have to use it. Holy crap. So chat, since we have Charlie St. Monica, she's new to the stream, new to the, new to the raid game, vote in the chat, yay or nay. We have fancy new buttons that you can use. Do we want to go to round two? Round two! We'll determine if I have to do weird stuff on the stream. We have round two, so the, the chance here is that in round two, you could potentially lose your item from round one. You could potentially lose the option to move to round three. The choice is yours. What do you say, everybody? What do you say? It's up to you. It's up to you guys. Mix them with some cola and mustard and just put it on that chicken, yo. Oh man, everyone says yes. Oh my God, everyone's saying yes, you guys. Oh, what's wrong with you? 
Hold on, let me let me make sure I get Charlie. Saint. Oh my God, my handwriting. My handwriting's a little bit too big. I'm screwing this all up. <laughs> Failed. All right, it looks like it looks like we're going for spin number two here. Hold on, let me make sure I get this right. We got Charlie. I can spell Charlie. Saint Monica, you beautiful human. So we have. Grape mother effing jelly. I think I need to wash my board. I think it's got too many oil splatters on here. Everyone says go to round two. We're going to round two, guys. We're going round two. Oh man, please be nice. Please be nice. Here we go. Round two. We're spinning. We're spinning. We're spinning. Oh, please be nice. Please be nice. Speaking questions. Okay, guys, I just had this on Tuesday. Can we do a respin? Do you guys mind if we do a respin? We just did this one on Tuesday. Do you guys mind if we do a respin? Just put it in that body of yours. I think that would get me banned, True. I think that'll get me banned. Can we do, can we do a redo of the of the speaking questions? Because it gets really annoying. I'm a, I'm gonna be honest. It's not just me that gets annoyed at it. Mrs. Lethal is like comes out here and nearly kills me every time. It'll be nice. Oh my god, respin. Respin. <laughs> respin. I'm smart. We're getting a lot of yes. We're getting mostly yes. <laughs> Especially Mrs. Lethal. I'm tempted to just say yes because Mrs. Lethal. Mrs. Lethal? Mrs. Lethal. Does it get annoying? Are you sure? It gets super annoying. <laughs> it, it's it, like at some points I just shut down because it's 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 too much. Okay. Don't you like speaking questions only? I don't know. Do I? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna respin. We're gonna respin because Strong Gamer said so. <laughs> Strong Gamer is another guy's you guys, another guy that you guys should also follow because he's another beautiful human. You no, 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 no. Respin. I'm not letting that happen. This is too strong of a raid. We're not letting that one happen. <laughs> We're just gonna keep spinning until we get one that I, I agree on. Okay, so we get Raider picks. This one, this one can work. So I, I need to, I still need to get, I still need to get a command set up so that we can, I can tell you, uh, Charlie and chat what our options are, but I'll run through them really quick. Uh, let me see here. I can run through them really quick. We have a ton of options here. And by ton, I mean like 17. So, let's see. We've got, I can, I have to use a country accent. I have to use my left hand. Um, no prize. I have to wear an oven mitt for the rest of the stream or for a certain time. Speak like a pirate. Hop around on one leg. Uh, Respin. Use a paring knife only. Say nice things about Guy Fieri. Uh, I can only use my largest knives. No prize. Uh, I have to write a haiku about the Raider. Title change to include Raider's name. Uh, horrible Arnold Schwarzenegger accent. Raider picks. And also the last one that I just added Dramatic lyric reading. You pick a song and I will dramatically read the lyrics to those to that song. So hopefully, Charlie, you, you heard something that sounded uh, enticing to you. Charlie wants a haiku. Okay, we're going haiku. So that automatically nullifies round three because I can't time myself on a haiku. So, first of all, I want to show you guys we have Hold on, I need to fix my dang thing here. Come on, chef. We're professionals here. So we have Charlie St. Monica. I gotta use grape jelly and I gotta write you a haiku, boo. All right, where's my eraser? It's right here, it's right next to me. <laughs> dramatic lyric reading to pizza commercial. Hey, I would, I would do anything within reason with the dramatic reading. It doesn't, I guess it doesn't have to be a song, but the song would be the easiest. Let me check my vegetables really quick. 
they're doing fine. My cat's keeping me company down here. So I gotta, let's, let's do a haiku really quick for Charlie St. Monica. Um, let me write your name up here just so, cause I'm gonna take a picture of, of your haiku and post it to Twitter. Uh, Charlie St. Monica. All right, so it's 575, right? Let's see, haiku is 575. So we got, I do this right on the fly, right? And it's not gonna be good. <laughs> it's gonna be, uh, you rated me. Okay, yeah, you rated me now. You, I can't spell, rated me now. Wait, you, how about you rated me now? Um, actually, Lenart, zero. <laughs> zero times. Um, okay, so you rated me. Now, um, I get to. Aha! Now, I get to. Oh, the handwriting is bad. <laughs> I can't, e I can barely. Okay, Charlie St. Monica. You rated me. Now I get to gush about you because you're great. Heart, Chef Little Plays. Not the best, but that's literally like the second haiku that we've had to do. And now I gotta figure out what the heck I'm gonna do with, with freaking grape, grape jelly. There you go, Charlie St. Monica, this one's for you. Thank you for that incredible raid, you generous and beautiful person. Holy moly, boys and girls and other people in the chat. Woo! That was crazy. Thank you so much, Charlie. Thank you. You have no idea what that means to me. Thank you so much. I gotta take a picture of this, so I'll keep this off to the side. So guys that are new to the stream, welcome everybody. We're cooking up some chicken tonight. Chicken tonight, I feel like chicken tonight. Okay, maybe not like that. I've got some chicken off to the side here. That's for me for like dinners and stuff like that. I did cook up some regular chicken that I cut up. I butchered the chicken on stream. We have it right here. It looks all nice and sexy. You probably did not get to see that all very well. Been here for both haikus. Jerry Griffin, you have been. That's absolutely true. Um, so I got a, a quick chicken stock slash sauce thing that I made right here. And we got some glove action. So I've already grabbed my, my pot from here. Once without a glove on, that did not tickle. Um, and we got some nice, we got some uh, some potatoes and carrots and parsnips and onions in this pan that's been like roasting forever. We're finally starting to get some color in here. Finally living in color, in living color, in living color, in living color. And what I'm gonna do, because the chicken's been sitting out for just a few moments, is I'm going to place the chicken back on top of the vegetables. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna place the chicken back on top of the vegetables just to get it warm again. Right? So once the chicken's warm, then we will be ready to plate it up. Um, so just kind of sneaking it in, just kind of just kind of cuddling the chicken in with the vegetables and being all like, how y'all doing? And then they'd be like, oh, we're good, man, we're good. Lenart, thanks for stopping by, man. EU, I totally understand. Thank you for that follow too, and good night. Sleep good. Do not grab the pan with your empty hand, chef. Okay, grape jelly. What the heck am I gonna do with grape jelly? That's really heavy. Uh, we do have some chicken drippings here in the in the in the plate. We're just gonna toss that right in the uh, the stock, because no flavor left unflavored, or something like that. All right. And then off camera here, Chef is talking. I'm not ignoring you, Caustic. I'm not ignoring you, Caustic. I'm just ignoring you, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna turn this back on just to kind of give it a moment to do its thangalang. You know what I mean? 
So I've reduced this down quite a bit. I got a chicken backbone in here and some vegetables, some onions, celery, carrots, um, grape jelly. What can I do with grape jelly? I mean, I can make a jelly sandwich. That's cheating. That's cheating. Uh, I could take a shot of it. I could put it in my, in my beverage that I've already drunken. Oh man, I'm done with my beverage. Whoops, it's gone. Queen Lily Petals, what's up? How long have I been working in the cooking part of life? I actually don't work as a chef. Um, I went to culinary school, but professionally, I'm like a boring analyst, dude, bro. Grape jelly shot. Only if you can get other people on that, on that hashtag there, Caustic, because I've never actually eaten straight grape jelly. That's kind of gross sounding. Uh, so we're warming that up. I just need this to come to a boil really quick. But yeah, Queen Lily Petals. Uh, so I work a really boring like, nine to five job that pays my bills. But I do this as like a hobby because I went to culinary school. I did really well in culinary school. I love cooking. I love teaching. I love entertaining. I feel like I do all of those things here to some level of success. <laughs> uh, at least 1100, at least 1100 people believe uh, at least some portion of that. Uh, so, oh my God. Don't let me down. <laughs> what is happening? What is happening? Internet. How about instead of grape jelly shot, I just show Tyson again. We have kitten cam. That's the same thing, right? Right? Soon to be doing fab. Oh, thank you, Queen Lily. I really appreciate that. It means it a lot. Like, especially if you've never been here before, I assume. I. I feel like this is probably the first time you've been in here. It means a lot that you come in and you're able to perceive that. It means I'm, I'm doing my job here. <laughs> is that enough? Are we doing a grape jelly shot? Or is this happening? Cherry Griffin says no. Oh my God, I have a kitten. Not the same. <laughs> That's right, I'll do kitten cam for free. Charlie, if you're still out there, do you mind? Do you mind if I just do a shot of grape jelly? It sounds disgusting. I've never actually done that. Can I put like peanut butter? Can I do a peanut butter chaser? <laughs> Can I do? Ultimately, it's it's up to Charlie. If she would rather me try to do something with it, it's up to her. It's her raid after all. Yeah, Tyson's just chilling on my on my microphone cable right now. He's totally cool. Jelly shot. I feel like. You guys are pressuring me. You wanna see the kitty cat? I can make that happen, Queen Lily Petals. You have to add vodka to the shot to make it better. I don't actually have any vodka left. Um, true, I, I used it on one of my previous streams. All right guys, so I'm gonna move the camera here because we have a request for kitty cam and he's being very still right now. So we need to take advantage of, of this and he's also adorable. What's up Tyson, dude bro? And zoom. There he is. There's Tyson. Over here, Tyson. Oh, I'm over here, Tyson. Other way. Tyson. Tyson. I'm behind you. Wow. Okay, so apparently not the smartest uh, student in the class. Tyson, I'm over here, man. Hey. Tyson. Tyson. There he is, look how, okay, now he's walking away. No, come back, Tyson. Okay, well, that's all for kitten cam. <laughs> oh. I do have pictures posted on my Instagram of him as well as my food photos, but you're probably more interested in the cats. Well, let's be honest. Uh, I have three cats now, two cats, one kitten, and my doge. They all periodically make appearances on the stream, so if you're interested in that sort of thing, they come and go. He is super special. He is super spatial. Charlie St. Monica approved. <laughs> Do your best, baby girl. <laughs> okay, I have to say, I love that Strong Gamer calls everybody baby girl because everyone calls everybody, like all the streamers, I call everybody dude, I say dude. Everyone says dude and man and he calls everybody baby girl. I have to love that very much. 
If you love food and pics and cat pics, well, my Instagram might be the place for you. So I'm totally gonna be taking the shot out of this shot glass that says, can you even see that? It says sexy number one. Okay, I'm, I'm totally taking, I'm taking a grape jelly shot out of a mother effing shot glass that says, <sighs> um, it says sexy one. Sexy number one, everybody. In case you didn't know, oh, that's me. Oh, that's me. All right, let's do this thing. No more stalling. No more stalling. I'm gonna use my good grape jelly for this too. I'm gonna use my good grape jelly for this. I love you guys. I wanna let you know, before, before this goes down, this is gonna be a lot of mother effing grape jelly. Oh, oh gosh. Oh gosh, that's all I have left in the grape jelly. Who knew an ounce and a half was so much? I love you guys. I love you guys, but sometimes I hate you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. All right. That's all of my grape jelly. You guys better hope that I don't want a peanut butter jelly sandwich tomorrow or something, because I ain't got no more peanut butter. I mean, I ain't got no more jelly. Yeah, plenty of peanut butter. Hold on a second. The least I could do, there's a second camera on the dang stream. The least I could do is let you guys see the beautiful chicken that we have. <sighs> no, there will be no trending. We don't have enough people here to trend nothing, Caustic. What chaser does one use for grape jelly? Queen Lily Petals is now hosting me. Thank you for that host, you beautiful human. Thank you so much, I really do appreciate it. I threw out the thing. I was gonna see how many calories this was gonna be. Pickle juice. I was thinking another whiskey drink. All right, guys. Charlie, say Monica, thank you for the raid. Chat, thank you for being amazing. <sighs> Even though I'm going to regret this. Should I get closer to the, to the camera? So if you have your clips ready, your odd shots ready, the face of the grimace of disgust will be a, a thing, I'm sure. You know, I have... Bottoms up, bottoms up. Whatever is in your cup. I got a couple bottles, but a couple ain't enough. I'm fine. God. I can see sound. <laughs> oh God. Oh. Oh God. Oh. Oh. Camara, thank you for that follow. Much appreciated. Welcome to the kitchen. Hopefully you're having a good day. Have had a good week. To all the new people out there, I'm live on Tuesdays and Thursdays for cooking streams and Saturday for gaming streams. This Saturday is going to be a special project Saturday stream. First of its kind, once a month, we're doing special projects. This Saturday is pretzels. I'm going to be making roasted garlic and bacon pretzels with dipping sauces like beer cheese and bacon ranch and honey mustard. Oh my god. 
Oh. It is my professional opinion that I recommend that you never ever do that. Oh God. Oh. Guys, I thought you loved me. I thought we had a relationship of love. Hey Lottie, what's up? I'm okay. I just took a shot, a literal shot of grape jelly because we got raided and that came up as grape jelly and I offered to just do a shot instead of incorporating it into my dishes that have already all been completed. Oh, the things I do for love. Oh my God. Now the grape jelly that I used was like the high quality stuff, like the, the no, it was all natural, no preservatives, no added sugar. It tasted like eating 1700 grapes compressed into an ounce and a half of goo. Oh. God. Oh, I'm sure I'm I can't wait to check Twitter later cuz I'm sure the 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 pictures and gifts will just be amazing. Now normally I would say I could use those gifts for like follow alerts and stuff like that, but Obviously I can't, because I'm making a grimace of disgust. The last thing I want to do, if someone follows me, is the alert be me making a grimace of disgust. Which, hold on, let's be real for a second. Grimace of disgust could be a really great band name. Am I right? Like a hardcore, like a metal band name? Grimace of disgust? You guys love it. Don't, don't even tell me, like, don't even pretend like you don't love it. Well, thank you, Queen Lily Petals. I'm glad you think so. Do you guys... The kitten is sleeping. Again. Do you guys want some more kitten cam, maybe, for just another couple, of, like, 20 seconds or so? Like, he's not doing anything. <laughs> Grimace of disgust. He's not doing anything. He's just laying there, but he's being really cute. I mean, you guys want, like, another 15 or 20 seconds of kitten cam just to kind of get your, your kitten fix? I'm gonna assume that everyone's gonna say yes because everyone loves kittens. Yeah, Queen Queen Lily. Yeah, everyone everyone loves kittens. If you don't, I'm pretty sure you may not be a human being. Oh, he he saw me move and he's like, "What? I need to wake up." No, don't wake up, bro. Hold on, hold on. We have kitten cam here on on Chef Lethal. Chef Lethal. Whoa. <laughs> Chef Lethal Play- sorry guys, I just lost control of the camera there for a sec. Oh, there he goes. Oh my goodness, look at him. Oh my god, he's so cute. Is he not the cutest thing? He's getting so big. We adopted him, so we fostered him. This is Tyson, everybody. We fostered him when he was like, maybe a month old at most. And we had him for like four weeks. And now normally when we foster kittens, we have like three up to four kittens at a time. This is one of our first times that we got one at a time, and he totally got all of our attention. We fell in love with him, and we ended up adopting him. So he's just, he's just chilling. He has no, he has no desire for us, which is rude. Um, but yeah, so we, we totally adopted him. And uh, we love him, <laughs> especially me. He's kind of a daddy's boy. Jelly as a base. Oh, his Stygian. Stygian? Stygian. Oh, his Stygian has followed. Thank you so much for that follow, dude. Welcome to the kitchen. Thank you so much, and I hope you're having a good day. Welcome, everybody. Welcome all the new people. Dude, that raid, though. Come talk about unexpected raid. They're all unexpected. I don't expect anything, but holy moly, that blew my face off. So here's what I'm gonna do. We're getting, I gotta, I gotta hurry this up. We're getting near the end here. So I gotta make this a sauce. So I'm gonna get this. I have, uh, so what I have here is I have a, a, a chicken backbone with a bunch of vegetables and some water and a little bit of drippings and stuff like that. 
I still taste the jelly, dudes. It's gross. Um, and this has just been simmering the whole stream, basically. So we have like a quick stock that I made. Basically, I want it to get warm again. I'm gonna strain it out, throw some butter in there with some, uh, some Dijon mustard, whisk it up and make a nice pan sauce. We've got chicken at the ready in the second camera. The skin should be like reasonably crispy. Yeah, we adopted him, Lottie. Oh, you didn't know. Yeah, we totally adopted him. We tried to, uh, we tried to find other people. We tried to find another home for him, but darn it, we just fell in love with him. He's the sweetest kitten I think I've ever had. The sweetest cat. Did I say Swedish? He's the sweetest cat I've ever had. He speaks to me like Bjorgen Smorgen. And I'm like, okay. Um, but no, he's like, he just cuddles with us and, and he just, Mrs. Liesel told me, she was like, it's up to you. I want to keep him, but ultimately, you know, we need to make a decision as a couple. And if you believe it, I said, I want him. And when she asked me this, I was holding him and he was just like cuddled right into the crook of my neck. And he was just purring and I was like, yep, we'll keep him. He's okay. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, it's cool. It's cool. Okay, so this is now nice and hot. Now off camera, I'm gonna go right behind the camera and strain this out into a bowl. And then we'll come back and, uh, and make it into a nice little saucy poo. We'll make it saucy poo, guys. That sound okay? We'll make a nice saucy poo. I hope it sounds okay, because you don't got a choice. That's how we run. That's how we roll here. All right, and that should be good. Nice and strained out. Whoop. There we go. Okie dokie. So, that's still hot. That's a still a warm. So I'll tell you what, what I'm gonna do is take this and put it back in the oven just so I have hot food. Turn the oven off though. I have three cats myself, they are awesome. We have, we, now we, we have three cats as well. But again, this is the sweetest cat that I've ever had. Like he just, like last night, he woke me up in the middle of the night because he wanted to cuddle with me, which is not uh, abnormal, but he started licking my neck and I was like Aah. I wasn't exactly like that because Mrs. Lisa was sleeping next to me. If I did that, I would definitely wake her up and that would be no bueno. So here's what I'm gonna do, guys. I'm gonna turn this camera off just for a second. Look into your soul. Okay. <laughs> uh, just for a second, because I gotta move it back. We're gonna go, we're gonna go back to kind of like more of a front facing dealio because I think I'm done at the stove at the moment. At the moment. Oh guys, I downloaded, uh, like I have an Audible subscription, uh, audible.com, and recently they made po Harry Potter books available. And I've seen all the movies and I read physically, I physically read like books one through four, maybe five. And then after that, I kind of gave up on it. But now that they're audiobooks, I listen to audiobooks all the time because I've got like this decently long commute to work. How does this look? Oh, look at that. Let's go like this. And maybe move up just a little bit like that. Perfect. Oh man, look how professional we are. Uh, anyway, so yeah, I just started listening to the books again and oh, it's so good. So good. The narrator's really good. Is it a narrator? No, the uh, the voice actor? The performance person? I don't know. Oh, now my microphone's all jacked up on this thing. I don't care, let's do this thing. So I have a ton of laptop. <laughs> I was like, why don't I see myself in the camera? Because I need to look in the laptop, you idiot. I'm smart. Yeah. So many quality gifts every stream. <laughs> Caustic is, Caustic is like, I'm not just gonna say this because he's he's here, but Caustic is like, I don't know, Caustic, if, if you, when you wanted to become a moderator, or I don't even remember how that conversation went, but when you became a moderator or just a viewer of my stream, if you knew that you were gonna be like the gift taker and the quote maker type person, you do a great job at it. Caustic does a really good job at catching the things that that I'm embarrassed to repeat. So I'm using cranberry pomegranate juice for this for this last drink. It's narrator. Well, that's delicious too. Balls. Where's my whisk? So I have a whisk here. So what I want to do is throw in a little bit of Dijon in here. 
Here, let's switch it up a little bit. Let's go like this. Oh, hello. So we'll go a little bit of Dijon. I'm gonna throw in a little bit of salt because I know that I haven't salted this yet. All right, and then I'm gonna grind it up. Grind up a little bit of pepper in there as well. We'll give it a nice little whiskey poo. Yep, there we go. Just mix it all up and make it nice and makes it nice and tasty. You wanted me to become a moderator, and no, I definitely didn't know. Oh, uh, whoops. <laughs> Shows how much I remember. I remember a lot of things, but apparently not that I asked Caustic to become a moderator. True story, guys, my wife is not a moderator in my chat. Does that make me a bad person? <laughs> Should I make her a mod? All right, so add this cold butter and whisk and whisk and whisk, and hopefully we make a sauce worthy of saucitude. Hopefully that's also not too loud. Hopefully it's not too loud. Just trying to get the butter incorporated in such a way that it emulsifies the whole thing. And it's not working. It's fine though. It's fine. I usually have a problem with making my sauces too thick anyway. I'm mostly sure she is. She is, that's true. And I'm probably gonna get, I'm probably gonna get, no, I'm not gonna say it. No, she, she, when I first started streaming cooking and she was watching it, cause she doesn't watch my gaming stream. She tries to watch my gaming stream and she's like, this is uh, stupid. <laughs> like, I think she literally came into a Stardew Valley stream one time and was like, why do people watch this? <laughs> Which I get, Stardew Valley is pretty, pretty chill game to play. Um, this is not really a sauce. Now it's a buttered stock, basically. Let's try adding a little bit more so uh, butter. <laughs> Let's add some more butter, y'all, and see what happens. Um, Queen Lily Petals, thank you very much for those kind words. That really does mean a lot to me. Uh, especially being new to the stream, and you're saying those things, it really makes me feel really, really good. Uh, so thank you very much for that. If I didn't control my fiance's bot chat, <laughs> he wouldn't have anything. And she permanent all the viewers. Yeah, true. Hold on, dude. Seriously? That's incredible. I need to know more about this. But not because of, like, self-absorbed reasons. But one, I'm very curious about how people find, particularly me, but how you find your favorite streamers. You know, like... Like, I could probably tell you how I found my favorite streamers. And I'm curious how people find me, because most of my favorite streamers are like big partnered streamers. I wonder how this tastes. Um, and I could, I could pretty much tell you how I found them. But like me, I'm just like a, I'm a nobody, I'm a scrub. And uh, I'm just curious. Ooh, holy balls, that tastes good. Oh, it's the Dijon. The Dijon is adding a ton of complexity here. I may not even need... I don't think I'm even gonna need the, uh... I don't think I'm gonna need the lemon juice. That's delicious! Whoa! Food channels at 7 in the morning. Well, <laughs> I found you through an Aggie the Salty Raid. Oh my goodness, Dream to Stream host me. Wow! Sketch is my all-time fave. Found him by becoming friends with the fiance of the popular YouTuber. Unbelievable. Yeah, I was lurking on Twitch. There was a thread about unknown streamer communities and someone linked you. Oh my gosh. True, that's incredible. I had no idea. You might be the only person that's true from. That true, ha ha ha. Because I've never heard anyone else ever mention anything like that. But I mean, that's so cool that there are so many different ways you can find new you know, new and entertaining communities and streams and stuff like that. Oh, God, you guys are, you guys are gonna make me blush tonight, guys. I'm telling you. I'm, I'm feeling the love tonight. I'm feeling the love. I'm feeling the love for sure. So like, my, my, mine is, is pretty boring. So like, when I started Twitch, I was really big into, into Minecraft. So like, my, my, like, number one favorite 
probably streamer is a Minecraft streamer, right? And I found him because he was at the top of the directory. He happened to be very, very good. And my second favorite streamer is good friends with the number one streamer. And so I found him through that. Um, I need my glove here. So I just, I, I, I remember, I tend to remember a lot of unusual things anyway. Holy crap, this chicken looks so good though. I tend to, it's super done though. <laughs> it's way overdone. That's okay. There was a speck in the sauce. I'm not going for perfection here, True. <laughs> or Cherry, excuse me. I don't know why that was true. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Yeah, there is, there is a, a large speck in the sauce. Cherry, I don't know if you saw everything that was in the sauce, but we got all sorts of flavor in this sauce. So first thing I'm gonna do is put a little bit of sauce on the plate, and it's gonna spread because my apparently my counters are uneven. Yeah, all right, whatever, dude. Whatever, I kind of regret this not being a roux-based sauce now that we're kind of working at it. Um, also, I just know that I'm gonna touch this pan and it's gonna scorch my hand. That kind of rhymed. Do, 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 do. I didn't like Sketch or Death when I first found them. I like Death's channel because his voice was radio-like. It's true. After all that money, you better be important. What are you talking about? It's important to Chef. Look. I say, I say this true all the time. I feel like I say this all the time. I've at least said it once. Like, I appreciate all the generosity and stuff like that. Like, you guys don't have to contribute to the stream. <laughs> like, I appreciate the, the fundage and, you know, making things better. Any money that does come to the stream, guys, does go towards improvements. Um, so if you choose to, at, at any point in the future to drop a tip or anything like that, it goes towards improvement. So, like, like we just finished up a a, a goal, I guess, of uh, of fundraising, for lack of a better term. And uh, so that that helped pay for my capture card and my extra camera up here, because before I was rocking only one camera. Um, and then I forgot what else I was gonna say, but it's fine. So, did I say hi to Meow? Hopefully. It's a nice bottle of something. Didn't I message you back though? I feel like, I feel like that, that whisper was from earlier, True, and I may, I may have messaged you back. That could be something else though. Um, so one thing I also like to do in my plating is I like white space on the plate. Like I don't like everything to be everywhere type of thing, you know? Like I like to have some space for things to to kind of just be themselves. So I'm gonna drop a little bit of sauce over the vegetables. And this is a really runny sauce, but it tastes good, so I'm not like super upset about it. It tastes really good. So I'll put just a little bit more around here. Yeah, I wish it was maybe a little bit thicker. It's almost like a soup. <laughs> it's a soup sauce. It's a Super boss, sposs, sposs, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. But I do have a little bit of green to put on the plate, just so we don't have this plate of blah. Plate of blah. So I love to garnish with chives because they are sexy and beautiful, like all of you people in the chat tonight. So here we go. Got a nice little plate of food, I think. Got a nice little plate of food, I think. Let me grab my, uh, well, let me move this out of the way. Huah! Looking at it, oh, okay. Sorry, True. I'll get you, bro. No worries, man. All right, so now is the time where I take my glamour shot. Glamour shots will, of course, be posted to the Instagram page, probably tonight, possibly tomorrow. Depends on how quickly I crash uh, at the end of the stream, because it's already getting kind of late. It's getting kind of late. Oh, let's go. I want to go maybe this side. No, picture from this side. Bowling. 
Yeah, maybe this side. Here we go. That looks good. Can really see the chicken. I feel like I want to come from this side though too, because of the way the lighting is. Yeah. Okay. I'm okay with that. It's not the greatest. Right, let's go back to here. I'm gonna grab some utensils here. See what kind of trouble we can get into with this here chicken. With this here chicken, y'all. I know. I know for a fact the chicken is cooked. It's probably overcooked. But overcooked is a game that we played on stream yesterday. <laughs> All right, first I want to always try. I want to try a vegetable here. So I've got some. Uh, it looks like a potato here with maybe a sliver of onion, a little bit of sauce. That's pretty good. Very potatoey. Imagine that. That's good though. A little carrot. It's cooked very well. Let's get in here to some chicken here. I want to get some of the skin. Now we did butcher the chicken right on stream, right at the beginning. This this large piece of breast here though actually looks well cooked. Like not well done cooked, but like well. Like it looks juicy. And uh, it's a large piece of, of the meat too. I'm just gonna kind of slather up some of the sauce. Mm. All right. Woo! So out of 10, I give it an eight. The chicken is slightly, slightly overcooked, and I feel it in the mouthfeel. So it's juicy and it tastes really good. Like the flavor's on point. But the chicken itself is a slight, just ever so slightly overcooked. Like if I, if I hadn't put it back in the oven, it probably would have been fine. Oh. All I seasoned the chicken with was salt and pepper. So the skin was supposed to be like super crispy. It looks amazing. Like the skin is really dark. We got a nice sear and brownage on the, uh, on the skin. It tastes good. It's not that crispy. It's my jam, guys. It's my jam. This whole playlist is my jam. Baby on, baby on, baby on, baby. So, I mean, this is a really good comforting meal, though. Baby on bowling. 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 So, I want to get some of this chicken here with maybe some vegetables. Like, this is a good comfort meal, man. Baby, I'm, baby, I'm bowling. Hey. Baby, I'm bowling. Can I ask when do you know the chicken is done? Queen Lily, yes you can. And I'll go ahead and answer you so you don't have to actually ask the question. <laughs> Baby, I'm bowling. Um, I took its temperature. That's it. That's all I can tell you. For this chicken in particular, I took its temperature. Give me the mic. I'm back, bitches. Uh, I just have an instrument thermometer, and I stuck it in there after 10 minutes, and was like, holy crap, it's pretty much done. Uh, that is the most reliable way to, uh, to determine if it's done or not. Anything other than that is just myth and magic. Mm. Oh, it's so good though. The super, it's like really salty skin, which sounds gross, oh, but it's so good. It's getting that grape flavor out of my mouth. Give you a bowling. Abyssio, welcome. You're a little late. You're a little late. You're kind of near the end of the stream late, but you're late. 
It's fine, man. Welcome to the stream, man. Hopefully you're doing all right. Hopefully you're having a good night and stuff. Okay, many questions. That's fine. Ask all the questions that you want, guys. So, Truebag asks, what temperature does chicken need to be at? So the government will tell you that chicken breast should be cooked to no less than 165 degrees, and that chicken thighs should be more than that. I like to cook my chicken breast. If I'm roasting it like this, I like to pull it out of the oven at like 160, maybe 158, if I can take it, because it'll continue to cook Ooh, after it gets out of the oven. Uh, if I'm doing sous vide, I will always do my chicken at like 150, 155. There's science behind that, just trust me. If you have a sous, -vide, a sous vide immersion circulator set up, you can cook your chicken for a lower temperature than the government tells you and it'll still be safe. And Casa has a, a what thermometer? It's an instant read thermometer. So like, I've got this, I've got this tool that, uh, that Mrs. Lethal actually got me as, a, as a, like a birthday gift or a Christmas gift a few years ago. Ah, almost caught it. Almost caught it, it's slippery. Hi. So it's a, uh, so it looks like this. It has a cool flame job on it. I like it. And it just pulls out and I have a thermometer at the end, right? So this, this section right here, this really skinny part, so you can tell like there's a thicker rod here to about here and then it gets thin. This part right here is the only amount that needs to be immersed into the meat or whatever it is you're taking the temperature. And it will give you an instant, instant read in like less than three seconds, you'll know exactly what temperature it's at because there's a lot of other thermometers you have to stick it in and it will take like 20 seconds, 30 seconds, or a long time to show you the temperature that it's at. Uh, and if you're cooking something that is kind of time sensitive, that's the way to go. Instant, instant, baby. This is America. Mm. <laughs> you're welcome, Caustic. You're welcome. You were just waiting for that. You don't even care what kind of thermometer it is. You just wanted to grab the quote. You selfish, you selfish Belgian. You selfish Flemish. So, ladies and beautifuls, beautiful people, I think it's gotta be it for tonight's stream, guys. I have got to eat this food because it is delicious in my belly. I also need to finish drinking this drink because I mistakenly poured it and now I need to finish it. True, I'm jealous of your burrito. Good night, thank you for those $5. Much appreciated, well, thank you for much more than that, but for tonight, thank you for those $5. Um, yeah, so I have to go to sleep soon because it's, it's like 10 o'clock my time and it's late and I'm jamming out the music that's gonna keep me awake for hours upon end. So, so for that, I say, all of you beautiful people, thank you so much for being here. Holy crap, tonight was awesome. You are all amazing, and I love you so much. Um, I will be live again on Saturday morning, probably around 9 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. We're doing Special Product Saturday. We got a super copywritten playlist. Uh, the, the VOD will not be on YouTube, it will not be available. Uh, so if you're not here live, you're gonna miss it. We're making pretzels, roasted garlic and bacon pretzels, regular pretzels, we're making dipping sauces, beer cheese, honey mustard, bacon ranch dressing. It's going to be crazy good, I hope. Uh, <laughs> I have every expectation it's gonna be super great. Hope to see you all there. Um, tonight's meal was excellent. Uh, if you're still out there, Charlie St. Monica, thank you so much for the raid. If you came on Charlie's raid, thank you all so much for hanging out for any of the new follows. True uh, dropped a $5 bomb in my face. Much appreciated to that. Uh, we had like 1,900 hosts tonight. Uh, again, always super appreciated. You guys uh, make me feel so good every night that I'm live and I get to talk to you. So thank you so much. Hopefully see you on Saturday. If not, I'll be live again on Tuesday uh, around 6 p.m. or 5.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time cooking something. I don't even know what I'm gonna cook on Tuesday. That's the beauty of the whole thing. Guys, I love you so much. Thank you and good, good night.
Okay, good. Now that they're gone, I can eat these potatoes. Oh man, these potatoes are so good. Oh my God. Oh, and this chicken. Oh man, I couldn't eat all this chicken in front of them because they'd get really jealous. But it tastes so good. Oh my God. Yes, I know my microphone is still alive, guys. I'm not that much of a derp. But I love you all so much for hanging out. Good night, everybody. Or good morning. Good whatever. I love you. This is like, I love this chicken. Oh my God. Woo!